do. Rub in my eye. Do, 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 do. All right, guys. Well, as always, cheers to you. Got the mint herba as per usual. If I look a little tired, I'm actually not. That is actually just my face. Although I did go to a wedding super late last night. Uh, so that was kind of a thing. But um, yeah, we're going to play some more WoW. I can't remember where I left off on the last one, but I'm almost level 50. I think I've gained a level or two. Uh, I haven't really been able to stream. Um, so I've just been doing some super boring quests. Like today I did Blasted Lands, which is the most... Boring place in the entire world. Should I go to Searing? Oh, I should go to Searing. How do you even get over here from Badlands? Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Uh, but I'm going to hopefully, if uh, if our main man logs back in, uh, I will be doing the Hinterlands quests. So that should be super fun. Um, but for now, let me just post this on the old Discord. You guys know the routine. If Ro is here, it'd be the routine. Let's put this up a little bit, just a hair. Got to see my whole, my whole head. Oh God, oh God, get out of here, Albeast. I'm trying to, I'm trying to set up my stream here. What do you think this is? Primitive Albeast. Primitive Albeast. I do kind of miss Boomkin Druid, to be honest, although I don't miss a lot of other stuff uh, from that era of WoW. So, okay, where's my Discord at? Am I even logged in? Yeah, I am. Uh, okay, so let's do Discord. The stream is coming. The stream is coming. Come say hey. And then HTTPS twitch.tv slash husky. I really should post this on all my other social medias, but whatever. Whatever. And now I just need to open up Twitch. And then we are pretty much ready, fam. What is going on? Yeah, yeah, no, dude, I, I love all your videos. Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to go to here. And then going to go to... Oh, I guess I was level 49 on my last stream, I think. Oh, because I did that really short stream. So yeah, I am level 49. And then stream manager, just so I can see everybody. Hey, what up, guys? Sorry, I just I, I just got logged in, so now I see you, everybody. And then, where's my... Where's my chat? Oh, yeah, for some reason it closed. All right, we're going we're gonna to get this figured out. All right, we are good. I think I can move my chat up a little bit, maybe? Yeah, chat can be over here. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. All right, so I actually had a really close call with death today. I, I think I would officially call it my first close call. Um, Grayson really wanted to play, and obviously I'm not going to let him play WoW Hardcore. He's four years old. Uh, doesn't quite have the fine motor skills to uh, do such things, but... I did tell him if you sit in the chair next to me and you don't touch the keyboard, you can hang out with me. Um, and Grayson's a very active kid. Like, he's very, very active with his hands. And so I told him, like, hey, you can hang out with Uncle Mike, but what up, no, no, Nuvrat? Nuvrat? Yeah, boy. Um, and so that's what I told him. And I'm like, you can, you can hang out with me as long as you want. You just gotta just not touch the mouse or keyboard. That's the only rule. And to my utter shock, I would say for the first time ever, he actually sat there for almost two hours and watched me. And he was actually kind of commentating because he's getting smart enough now that he knows like the characters in game are like, oh my God, is someone following me already in the stream? I haven't even started moving my character yet. Uh, hold on, hold on. Who's following me already? Robo Sujay and with the subscribe with Prime. Thank you so much. That is incredible. What a, what a way to, uh, to start the day. All right. Well, you know, if I got if I got a new prime sub every twenty seconds like that, I mean, we would be we'd be ninja in no time. Do people still watch ninja? I legit have no idea. Um, but yeah, so to my utter surprise, he literally sat there and watched and was commentating as I was doing. And I was in Blasted Lands doing those super stupid quests of like kill a million boars and a million basilisks. You know, basically the WoW experience in a nutshell. And. Um, 
he was actually doing really, really well. I was so proud of him. Oh my god, really? Two slimes all day. No, we're gonna do it. And, uh, but I was getting so distracted talking to him, because it was so much fun playing with him, like, telling what I was doing, and like, he would tell me what I should do, and I'd be like, well, I, I can't do that, because, you know, I'm trying to stick to the quest here. Uh, and then I just got so distracted, I ran to an area that was way higher level than I had realized. Because I was kind of on autopilot talking to him, and I wasn't really honestly paying attention. And then like 500 freaking hell boars, which all have blast wave. Like why the hell does a boar have blast wave? And they're all orange to me. And they all have like this sprint ability that they just spam. And like I literally almost died. I literally had to use my nifty stopwatch, my swiftness pot, um, blink like three times, ice armor. I even used cold snap. Uh, I popped a health potion, which I actually don't have any on me right now. I emailed some from my bank, so maybe this is maybe I can go pick those up from my bank. But um, I also love how it says "don't eat me," but I like kind of really do want to eat it. Um, but anyways, it was probably the closest to death I've been, and it's because I let my guard down. Um, but you know, he was—he's—he's he's so cute. He wanted—he wanted to know what Uncle Mike was doing, and like, you know, I wanted to walk him through it. It was super fun, and uh, Molly got a really cute picture of him hanging out with me. And uh, I think he—he he will be very good at whatever it is he decides to do in life, um, because he's just so like, what's even the word for it? Not like focused, but like he just has that like that it. I don't know what it is, but I think I think once he's a little older, um, I think he's really gonna be super good at whatever he decides to do. So I'm very excited to see what that is. Like once he's like six to eight, I think we're gonna really see kind of what his speciality will be. Because you know some kids like they're geniuses at like three and a half. Uh, but they actually end up not really having something that they excel at later in life. And I think he's going to be like, we don't know what he's going to like until he's a little bit older. And then he's going to he's gonna shock everybody. Like, I really can't wait for it. It's going to be super cool. Um, let's see. And then where'd my little chat thing go? Did it close again? Oh, I see. I see. This is just being a little bit different. Hey, well, thanks, uh, thanks, Robo. Long time Husky follower on YouTube. Definitely appreciate that. We've been having fun here on Twitch, and I've been trying to drive uh, most people to Twitch if they happen to have a Twitch account. I know not everybody has a Twitch account, uh, but like Melissa, I see you over there. It's all good, Melissa. You can hang out wherever you want. Um, but I've been having so much fun on Twitch, and like we still have over 200 subscribers, which again, a lot of them were gifted by our man Saberman. Uh, I know you've been back a bit. But just want to say it's good seeing you back. Watched a lot of your content back in the day. Thanks, JKB. I appreciate it. And I know, uh, obviously, I'm not exactly known for World of Warcraft content. But in all honesty, I'm a huge WoW nerd. Um, I don't really enjoy retail. Like, I haven't played retail for, like, five expansions or whatever. I don't even know. But um, WoW Classic was, like, always my jam. And obviously, when it came out, it was just called World of Warcraft. But, um, well, it is now forever referred to as WoW Classic. Like, I've always loved WoW Classic. Like, I, 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 I talked about this before, but I just feel like they had such a good balance of difficulty versus reward versus, um, like, it, it just had such a good balance of everything, honestly. And so, now that WoW Hardcore is out, I am living my best life. So, I love it. I've been having a ton of fun with it. And, um, honestly, I'm surprised that anybody watches me play it, because I'm 100% not known for for World of Warcraft, but either way, I'm gonna do it. Man, you don't see a lot of dwarf rogues. Usually they're like human, I feel like, but dwarf warriors and dwarf rogues are super cool. All right, here's another one of these. I'm probably actually gonna run to the, uh, there's a skulk rock over here that has more of these. And you know what? We're gonna live a little. We're gonna go, uh, I'm too afraid to do this escort by myself. The uh, chicken escort, I don't, I don't trust it. One of the escorts I did, the one in Tanaris, thankfully I was grouping up with a guildie on that one, because uh, that one is insane, and it takes like 20 minutes. I'm like, really, Blizzard? Really, Blizzard? You're going to make an escort take that long? Yeah, stone form is awesome. Like, I was, I was, I, I wish dwarves could be mages. Um, that would be so freaking cool, but uh, 
I was thinking if I ever roll another mage, I might actually make an alliance on the same server. Because you can, you know, you can transfer the gold on the uh, auction house or whatever. Um, I just feel like that would be on the neutral auction house. I just feel like that would be so fun. But I also love Horde. Like, I'm Horde. It would never be my main, only my alt. I would never cheat on Horde like that. And honestly, I a part of me, like, wants to become a major WoW streamer so that I can be, like, one of the only Horde hardcore streamers. We can make fun of all the Alliance. And every time I stream, I'm like, Alliance is for Care Bears. All, everybody's too sensitive. They can't they can't pick the cool characters because they don't have enough... They don't have enough... Uh, what's the word? Like, confidence. They can't pull it off. You know, they can't pull it off. They're like, no, I have to be a female human. I have to be a female night elf. It's the only... It's, you know, it's what I... It's what I... It's what... It's... It's what I connect with on the inside, because deep down, I think, I think we're all female night elves, and we all need to, you know, embrace the power of the Elune. Uh We we all need to embrace. Um, we what well, we we need to find the moon, within our not only ourselves but within our, within our within our pets, and I'm like no. You know, it's like the difference between dog people and cat people. I'm like, I'm such a dog person. And there is legit studies about dog people uh, differences and cat people. And obviously, I can vibe with cat people. I'm not, I'm not like slam dunking on cat people. But I'm like, I am such a dog person that I, I can't imagine being anything else. And the same with Alliance. I'm like, it's a certain type of person who plays Alliance. And they may be in the majority. They very well may be in the majority, but that ain't me. That ain't me at all. But that'd be kind of fun. I'm like level 60, like, for the horde. Oh, get wrecked, noob. And then all the alliance players, we can make fun of them. Just be like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a level 23 gnome. You know, I, I, I just don't want to be too big in the world. I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to, you know, those torrens, they're, they're cows. And like, I just, I just don't, I just want to be. I don't want to be in anyone's way. I don't want to step on any toes. We can just make fun of them all day. All right, so basically this quest is collect a bunch of, uh... oh, actually I didn't realize, I'm stupid. I didn't realize like that one box had three in it. So you don't actually need to find that many boxes. So we're gonna go in the cave. I actually went into a Yeti cave the other day. I was very proud of myself. I was killing a million Yetis. Because, again, I had a little bit of time, and I ran all the way to Inferalus to the Yeti Cave. And there's, like, one quest in there, I think. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do this really quick. Oh, I was so proud of myself actually going into a cave. Oh, uh, are you talking about Silver Pine? I, I avoid Silver Pine at all costs. That place is a freaking death pact. You, you like... You, you basically are joining a suicide pact, or death wish, excuse me. You're basically joining a suicide pact if, you, if you're if you going there. I feel like I can just drop in on this guy, right? All right, we're going to go ahead and do this. Because Brill is a uh, silver pine, right? Right? I'm really tripping. Wait, where's Brill? I'm stupid. Wait, is Brill? Okay, hold on. Is Brill Alliance? I, uh, for how many decades I've played this game, I definitely don't know that well. Hey, Michael Buck. Yeah, I heard a lot of people like Dragonflight. It's just the game's too flashy for me. It's too, like, overwhelming. Like, maybe I'm, like, such a boomer now, but I'm just, like, it's just too much. Like, even when you're, even when you're making a character, it's, like, I clicked on, um, because it, it's included with, or, uh, it's not included, but, um, uh, I just logged in to try it, and like even clicking on like monk, and the dude like to make a monk, like the dude's like punching the screen and going like hoo ha hoo ha hoo. It's like it's too much. Like I'm used to classic well where you click on like you're making a warrior and he just stands there deadpan. It doesn't even show him in like cool armor. Like literally when you're making a character on World of Warcraft, they all look identical. It'll be like oh you're making a shaman, okay well here's a random troll holding a staff. Oh you're making a warrior, well here's a super generic undead with a sword. It's like so generic and so simple, and I just absolutely love the simplicity. 
Oh, man. Oh, yeah, Brill's Riot's out of town. Okay, I wasn't that far off. I wasn't that far off. Um, I've almost died a couple of times auto-running. That's that's a big problem, because it's like, I, um, I'm super familiar with the game, so I, I know, like, what... I literally know the game so well, I know, like, what angles you can run at to go really far. Uh, but the thing I forget is, like, oh, uh, there's a pathing elite <laughs> that's 20 levels higher that just happens to randomly be in the space. Like, that is literally what I forget about. I, I remember what angle you can auto-run at, so I can alt-tab and, like, check my email, but I can't remember all the pathing elites. Um, so it just kind of is what it is, I guess. Yeah, Cinnabar is a good example. Like, Silverpine can screw off. I haven't done a single quest in Silverpine. Even as Undead, I was like, I'm going straight to the Barons. I'm going straight to the Barons. And I will fight centaurs that are pathing at 500 miles an hour. I, but I will not go to Silverpine. Screw that. Like, they, they were such jerks when they designed Silverpine. It's got to be, like, one of the worst. Oh, my God. He drowned at level 42 in Swamp of Sorrows. Was he trying to go to Sunken Temple? Is Sunken Temple level 42? Like, could the level 42 do Sunken Temple? Or is he just trying to get the artifacts? I don't even know, because I haven't done any. You guys know, I haven't done any. Uh instances at all. I'll eventually, like, maybe before I'm 60, I might go with a bunch of lobies to power through, like, literally every instance just to help out some friends. Not that I have any friends. I don't have any friends. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm kind of a loner boner anyways, you know? So, I just need a couple more drinks in here. And then if our guildie's not on, if uh, Ehe isn't on to help with the elite quests, I think I might go to Steps or whatever that place was that actually has some quests for me. Hey, I'm Luna. How are you? Always good to see familiar faces. Oh, Questy, get out of here, dude. I'm not even using Questy right now. Let's put him up here. Now that I have, uh, well, I have Questy, but I just do it based on the mini-map. I don't actually, uh, anything in here? Okay, yeah, there is a box over there. As explained by Moradine Wrangler. That's saying Desolus? How are people dying in Desolus? I'm so confused. I guess there is, like, a few quests that we can do things in Desolus, but I still haven't figured out how that guy died to Thrall. A level 60 died to Thrall. And I, I don't understand how that happens. And it was a horde, too, so I don't... I'm very confused about that one. I don't know how you piss off Thrall that much. Ah, they throw nets. Someone in chat will always know the answer. That's what I love about YouTube and streaming in general. Someone will always know. Oh my god, there's a million of these guys. All I want is your box. All I want is your box of... What is it? Hinterlands Honey Ripple? Thought I was done when I hit 60. Is there more afterwards? Uh, well, I'm not 60 yet. I'm only 49, so I still got... the ways to go. And then, yeah, I gotta figure out... I gotta figure out what it looks like. I'm not sure. I mean, it's like... I should definitely do at least, like the basic level 60 instances, but I don't know. I'm not I'm not quite sure what's in my future. And that's that's half the fun of it, you know. I'm not, I mean I don't want to just like never touch the character again. That doesn't seem like it'd make much sense to me, but I also don't want to just do an instance and then die, so you know, I guess that's the fun of it is taking a taking a bet on yourself. Okay, that one only had one. All that work for a singular one. But I did, um, I actually did start in alt. Uh, he's a warrior, he's level 10, Tarn. And I'm basically just gonna funnel him money and gear and level him off rested XP. As, as it should be for a warrior. 
so we'll we'll see. I mean, I don't know that that character will ever even make it to 60 because it's it's just so much effort to level in this game. It's like kind of absurd. And I, I know there's people who can do it super quick, but I, I've never been good at like the fast leveling. I've been doing okay. Like I'm 49 and you know, I'm not like going crazy. Oh God. Of course. Of course you need sludge. Anything to be worried about. Just killing a bunch of ooze. I feel like this is a Ghostbusters or something. Slime covered bag. Which is mostly just money, right? But I don't think there's ever anything else in it. Well, it's 10 silver each time, you know? And it's not an item that you have to vendor, so that's nice. Oh, wait, is this a... A mithril? So what are you guys up to? Did you have a good weekend? It's Sunday, right? I think so. I have no sense of time. I did go to a wedding. So my voice is a little shot. But that's fine. I'm definitely used to dealing with a shot voice. I can tell you that much. Lots of experience in that world. Got a new staff. 18 intellect, 7 stam. Yes, please. You have two D&D campaigns on the weekend, one on Sat and one on Sun. Always a good time. What a pal. It's kind of crazy to see D&D get so popular. I mean, obviously it's always been popular, but it's like one could say mainstream at this point. Once D&D becomes more popular than fantasy football, you know we've made it. That'll be the telltale sign. I mean, I say we, I don't actually play D&D, &D, but, you know, I feel like I'm D&D &D adjacent, okay? What if I, what if I really got into my character and wow? I feel like that's almost D&D, &D, right? If I start talking like a female undead. Like, my, my inner spirit is a female undead character. Oh, give me that, give me that silver. I will gladly take that silver. Oh, there is one over there. I'm going to check out here if there's one. So I forgot how few of these boxes there actually are. Oh, man. Could you imagine actually RPing? Wow. I personally can't. Because I'm, I'm like, not a single-player type of person. And what I mean by that is, like, I don't play games for their story. Like, literally, anytime there's, like, quest dialogue or... I'll watch a cutscene. But, like, anytime there's, like, quest dialogue or, like, oh, go talk to this character and listen to what they say, I'm literally clicking through it so fast. Like, I I just don't care. I just want to play the game. I want to I want to PvP people. I want to, I want to actually play the game. I don't want to sit and read, like, all this lore that I'm sure they've worked a lot of time on. But is there not a box out here? I think I do need to go get that one. All right, maybe I will. It's just not for me. And so like even RPing, it'd be like, oh my God, now now it's not even the the story, the lore of the game. It's literally now I have to listen to other people's made up lore and I'm just like, oh my God. I cannot imagine sitting in town typing out. Like, I mean, I don't even know what you do. What do you do? Do you like do you RP and slash say or do you RP in your guilds? Do you RP in the groups? Like it just seems like a lot of work. To me. I don't think that I could uh I don't think I'm cut out for it, you guys. I don't think I'm the person that's going to be able to do that correctly. All right, well, so far, this this one is pretty chill. This cave, I can't even be bothered. I mean, these, like, 47, some of these guys are green to me. I think I saw a green one down there, right? Oh. 
I mean, I do, uh, I can type quite quickly, but I'd rather use that APM for killing noobs. I think my favorite, because I didn't, I didn't gank Lobies a ton. I mean, I did it my fair share, but it, it wasn't like, I remember there was one guy in our server, he was more rogue, who would just sit in Minithil and kill every single Lobie. Day in, day out, that's all he did. And like, that, that wasn't me. But I remember one time I went to the lobby area. We were horde, and the funniest thing is we, uh, my friend was a rogue, and we he'd stealth, and I think I can't remember what class I was, but I, I would stay out of sight. And so these lobby, these lobby alliance would like you know be questing whatever, and then when they would sit down uh, to drink or eat, you know it's a guaranteed crit if they're sitting. Um, so they'd be like level. Four. 15 or something ridiculously little uh, and he would stealth right in front of them unstealth and then as a rogue he'd use kick which uh, is like you know it's an interrupt ability and it does like no damage but the animation for it on orc male orc is so funny and it's so dramatic and over the top and so he'd literally unstealth and just kick them and it'd be a crit and it would one shot them and it was just the funniest funniest wow experiences of all time is just ganking these poor lobies with an, a level 60 orc rogue by unstealthing and then kicking them in the face and it to this day it's probably the hardest i've laughed like playing a game and you know people these days are like trying to slam on smurfing and trying to pretend like smurfing hasn't been a thing since the history of online games and trying to like make it this big issue now which is so funny to see but um god it was so fun especially on pvp servers like that was kind of the whole the whole thing is like you would go gank a lobby turns out it's someone's alt so they would come back with their 60 to protect their corpse and then you would get your friends and then they would get their guild and then all of a sudden it's like these huge battles over literally nothing and like that was that was the fun of pvp servers anyone these days who's like so Care bear about it. I'm just like, you guys, you don't get it. People have been smurfing since like the internet was invented and it's just a part of it. And so I always laugh online when I see people like huge threads, with, like hundreds of replies, people complaining about smurfing. And I'm like, guys, it's literally part of the game. Sometimes you lose a game to someone who's better than you, who's trying to troll you. It's literally part of it. You don't gotta cry about it. You don't gotta be upset. It's a video game. And yes, yeah, Smurfs are a part of every single game. No matter what you do, there will always be Smurfs. And so, you know, they, they can do things with like matchmaking and uh, account creation and stuff to reduce Smurfing. But to literally go make a thread if you get Smurfed, it's just like, I, I, can't, I can't relate to that. Like, I, I literally can't. Like, you just gotta laugh about it. Like, it's like, imagine you're playing like pickup ball with your friends. Uh, you know, playing some basketball after work or whatever with your friends. And then, like, LeBron James just, like, joins in and just dunks on you. Like, I find it hilarious. I think it's so funny. And even if I'm the one getting smurfed, but I've also never cared about, like, any of that. Because you're not going to be a pro gamer. You're literally, you're not, it's not going to happen. You're not going to be a pro gamer. And so, like, if you lose one random game and you lose some of your magical MMR... You know, these numbers that don't actually mean anything and don't actually exist. Uh, it's going to be okay. Literally, nobody's going to care. Nobody's going to ask you in a job interview what your MMR is or your, your you know, loss win record is. Like, nobody's going to care. And so I, I find smurfing stuff just hilarious. But, you know, everybody these days has to be offended about something. So they've, they've honed in on smurfing and that's... That's what ruins the experience is uh, getting smurfed a time or two. Whatever, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna still laugh about it to this day. And in in WoW, like that wasn't even smurfing. It that was literally like we're gonna gank a lobby and it's gonna summon all the level 60s because everyone at that point knows the level 60. And like PvP servers were so fun. So maybe that's why I can't relate to the smurfing because it's it's similar in WoW where it's literally like oh a level 20 is getting killed by five level 60s and there's no way to escape. Uh, and it's just part of it. And I, I got ganked plenty. I was leveling alts all the time. I've been ganked thousands of times. Maybe maybe playing on a PvP server has, has thickened my skin a little bit. Hello. Maybe that's what uh, 
Maybe that's what people really, really need these days in their lives is just to get constantly ganked. Okay, so I guess I gotta turn that into Orgrimmar. Good old Blasted Lands. Blasted Lands can get out of here. So it's not Blasted Lands, it's Burning Steps, right? No, 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 not Burning Steps. I see, you'd think I would know all this stuff by now. Searing Gorge. To be fair, all these names are like identical. So I feel like, I feel like we can go here, right? I mean, look, these look like quests I can do. Curse these fat fingers. Like, I feel like I can do those quests. So that means I just need to go to Badlands, right? Yeah, I need to go to Badlands. Anything here? Dreadmall Rock? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, but first, actually, see my Hearthstone is set to Raven Test Village. That's Hinterlands, right? Yeah. So actually, I am gonna go to Ogremar. Ogremar, really quick. I'm pretty much done here, except for the Escort. I'm not doing this one because it's a dungeon and then the Elite Quest. So I don't know if the Elite Quests are gonna happen tonight or not. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, the Twinks were more closely to Smurfing. But again, like it added this whole dynamic to the game that I I like, and I never even had a Smurf. Like I would do level 19 battlegrounds, and I would get absolutely obliterated by these Twinks. And it's like I never, I never cared. And maybe maybe since it's an MMO where you're used to like whoever has the better gear wins, it doesn't count as Smurfing in people's mind or something. But yeah, it's still as shocking to me that people get so upset about Smurfing, like. I mean, at this point, they will post and complain about anything on Reddit, and every every game subreddit, for the most part, is just people complaining constantly. And I'm like, guys, you're playing a video game. You're not gonna be a pro gamer. It's not gonna happen. So I don't know what you're expecting. I truly don't. I, I can't relate. I think people are way too sensitive. Like, if you're getting upset at a video game and you have to go post about it on the internet, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. I truly don't. All right, let's vendor some stuff. What can I do for you? Do, 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 do. Stamina spirit. That's probably not going to sell for that much. Cadgar's whisker. I'm actually starting to level alchemy on my alt, so I think I'll actually hold on to. Uh... Oh, forgot to sell his random sword. Strength and honor. Ooh, if I turn this in, am I gonna ding? I'm at 97, almost 98%. I think I'll actually ding if I turn this in. Well, hopefully he gives me what actual XP. Sometimes on these, don't too much. To victory. Boom! Look at that. Be no, safe. I'm not going to Oldman. You can get out of here. All right, ding level 50. Hold on, we gotta, we gotta update, we gotta update Twitch. Twitch title. Oh my God, I literally put. Hode instead of horde. Le whoops, level 50. Oh, uh, no, we need all caps. We got to bring the hype. Level. Why is. Hello, caps. Don't you hate when you like level 50? When you keep hitting the caps lock key over and over and then messing it up. Okay, so here we go. Horde. There we go. We are, we are saving that. Level 50. Do, 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 do. I feel like three, four, five. Yeah, I guess for now we'll just do that. Got that 10% clear casting. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, did that unlock anything? March of the Silithid. That's gonna take me to Silithus, isn't it? Oh no, it says in Gadgetson. I mean, it'll probably take me to there, but um, cool. Where is that quest? Is that up top? I don't know there. That's such a random building. All right, we are level 50. We are loving it. All right, I think I can get up there over here. Can I, or am I tripping? Am I really bad at video games? Is there not a ramp over here? Oh my God. Wait, like what, what is up here? Nobody's an enchanter, okay? Yeah, I, th I thought, wait, nope. I'm actually just an idiot. Wait. Wait. Ha ha. I'm not an idiot, but me thinking I was an idiot, it now makes me an idiot. 
I've been checking out what people are selling in trade chat because I'm like, I need this stuff for my for my warrior. Uh, okay, let's see. What did you guys say about my hot take on uh, on smurfing? I gotta I gotta make sure we're offending somebody. All right, if you're not offending at least one person, you're not doing it right. Okay, actually, for some reason, I really have to go to the bathroom. Like, I'm kind of getting antsy. Um, but what I'm actually going to do... Wait, conquering... Yeah, conquering Rathi Basin. I wish I could get that quest. A call to the Plaguelands. I'm not going... What is Magecraft? What freaking quest is that? Is that even going to be a quest worth it? Oh, wait, I need to go train my abilities. I literally almost teleport out here. Magecraft, wow, classic. Let's see what this stupid... I haven't done a single one of the mage quests. Uh, unlocks magic dust. Destroy more faz. I'm skipping ahead. Let's see, we get glacial spike. A necklace that increases damage and healing. Fire ruby, a trinket. Restore 100 to 500 mana, increases damage to your next fire spell. Okay, so it's kind of like... Yeah, the stuff's okay, but maybe I do it when I'm a little higher level just to be extra, extra safe. All right, we got to go. You know what, guys? To celebrate, I'm going to treat myself to teleporting to Ogremar while in Orgrimmar. Because, look, it's a long walk from here to here, okay? So to treat myself, wha-pow! Oh, but it basically looks like blink when you do it like that. Um, oh, I should have went to Thunder Bluff, huh? Because I need to get... Whatever. You know what? I'm treating myself. I'm not even going to worry about it. If you're if you're treating yourself and also worrying about it, then you're not you're not really treating yourself. All right, so here we go. Let's see. I wish to learn mage training. What have we got, fam? Okay, we got Conjure Water, obviously. I, f I almost feel like I need to start researching Scorch. But whatever. Fire Ward, yes please. Frost Nova, no. Blizzard, nope. Kona Cold, yes please. Ooh, a new Frost Bolt. Yes please. A new Ice Armor, yes please. All right, all this other stuff. I don't do any AoE. I don't do any instances, so I don't really need any of that good. stuff. There's like no reason to train higher level Frost Nova. It's so bad. It's It's got to be one of the worst abilities to upgrade in the entire game. I can't think of anything that's worse. All right, so let's see. I know we got a new Frost Bolt. So that's going to be from 326 damage to 383. I will take that. Definitely got to get some Conjure Water going. Thank the heavens for that. Uh, Fire Ward. Uh, Cone of Cold. Cone of Cold's good. I don't use it as much, but... I will still appreciate the extra damage. Frostbolt and then Ice Armor. Let's see. Wait, am I messing this up? Wait, was it Ice Armor? No, that's Frost Armor. I'm so stupid. All right, so it gives me three whole resistance to Frost and an extra 90 armor. Wow. Wow, you guys really... Really outdid yourselves on that. All right, this water can forever die. This water is at least acceptable for now. All right, we are going to go to Thunder Bluff. We're going to go right now. Greenlands of Shadow Wrath. It's pretty wild. All right, here you go, guys. The most overpowered spell in World of Warcraft history. Oh my god, I spent over 10 gold on the training this stupid stuff. It's Portal Thunder Bluff. Time to make mad, mad money. Because people will pay mad, mad money for portals. Actually, I had someone pay me two gold the other day. I think that's the most I've ever been paid for a portal. Um, so that was fantastic. Yeah, I'm not doing Magecraft. I'm slowly getting all these Unguro uh, quests, and I'm like, I am not going there yet. I literally saw a level 52 die there today, and I'm like, we can hold off. 
we can hold off on that. Um, so now we go back. This is the best part of being a mage is just teleporting everywhere. What up, hockey? Saw a big fat Greek wedding three. I haven't seen uh, one or two, so I'll let you be the judge on if it's good or not, because I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just going to... No, this isn't going to sell for that much, but I'm just going to send it to my bank. All right, so we'll do that, 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 that. I keep forgetting to put this stuff in the actual bank. Okay. Yeah, we'll just send that for now. Finally get some healing pots. I almost died today because I didn't have one, so got to keep that going. And then we can actually... I didn't ever end up going to the bathroom, did I? Um, so I'm going to fly down there. How was the wedding? It was fun. Loved it. Food was really, really, really good. Because it was at an actual restaurant, which is great. Strength. All right, so I'm going to go to the bathroom while this is happening. So guys, uh, tell my chair how you feel about it. And don't hurt its feelings. It's very sensitive. It's the type of person who would go in on Reddit and start crying about smurfing. So just be nice to him. Don't smurf.
How's uh, Husky Airlines going? Oh my god, look at the little lobies. What level is he? Level 23 human warrior named Messy Jesse. How cute. Oh. Remember that time we hit level 50, you guys? Look at all these people who died trying to follow the dream of reaching level 50. Every single person here is below level 50. I just hit it. Look at this. I'm only 0.97%. Uh, not even 1% into level 50. You guys, my level number is right here. It's 50. It's 50. My are, are you talking about my age? My age is in the 30s. 31. That's what we're going to stick with. And we'll always be that age. Oh, you're on mobile. <laughs> That's right. It's so little. Wait, somebody following me out here? What's going on? Oh, I guess if I, uh... Okay, we gotta put down here so you can see the whole GIF. Alright, let's see. Who followed me? Who was it? Who was it? My, my whole thing got all messed up because I went to the bathroom. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. We're, bringing, we're, getting, it, we're getting it back together. Hold on. Twitchy Templar. Oh, and JKV425. Uh, I think you followed me while I was, um... I'm gonna be honest, I was pooping. Like... It may have very well been the exact moment you followed me. I was actually pooping. Which, you know, if you want to be like, eh, that's gross, Husky. But I'm also like, you all pooped within the last 48 hours. Unless there's some sort of medical issue. Uh, which, I'm sorry to hear. But, you know, for the most for the most part. Alright, so we can abandon Blasted Lands. Yeah, we can abandon this. I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Because I think I'm about to go get 5 trillion new quests. Let's see. Hold on, what are these quests? What do we got? Dungeon, Dungeon, Dreadmall Rock. So I will get Dreadmall Rock. With Broken Alliances. Oh yeah, Kill Boss Thogrim. I mean, I could do that. So I just need to get Thal Track. Target Thal. Is that you over here? All right, so I think it's just this quest. Yeah, burning steps. Guys, we are getting into like the big boy league. Ancestors watch over. Ancestors watch over. I can't remember if there's a I don't think there's a Strength an inn honor. out there, so Alright, so before we go, is there anything else I can get rid of? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I do have glowing scorpid blood. Go with honor. Where am I supposed to turn in sprinkle secret ingredient? I don't even know where. Supposed to turn that in. Oh my god, it's so hard to keep track of everything. Oh, no? Oh, right there. Alright, we'll do that later. Did that come back, Bronzy Hero, hurt my voice? Question, student of the gospel? Uh, no. No, I'm fine. Hey, you switched over from YouTube. Well, welcome, JKV. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for following here and subscribing on YouTube. I will eventually transition back into being a YouTuber, but for now, I am loving WoW. And how. Meow, meow. That's all I got. Those are the only words I can think of that rhyme. I would be the worst rap battler. I mean, I think I could come up with something like if I had time to write it, but I, I cannot think of raps on the fly. Wait, where am I going? I already passed it, didn't I? God, it's been forever since I've done this. It's literally been forever. Uh, yeah, I, a uh, student of the gospel. Uh, I will definitely be doing more videos. I have some funny ideas, but I figure, you know what? I'm enjoying WoW. I'm gonna, I'm gonna for once, in my gaming YouTube career, I'm just gonna do what I want. Which, that is what I did at the beginning. 
And then it got, after like three years, I wanted to play other games and everybody hated it. And it bummed me out, but no more. I'm gonna do what I enjoy. And right now, I'm enjoying some WoW. Okay, so we got our new ice armor. We got our new arcane intellect. Oh, we didn't get a new one. We got good old dampen magic, which if you ever, if you guys ever play a mage, do not sleep on dampen magic. It is so good. Like some of the poisons that I get, which are damage over time, it'll like cut the damage almost in half that you get from that stuff. Like dampen magic is low key amazing. And I think people who are new to the game don't realize how good it is. Don't use it in a dungeon if you're like getting heals and stuff, but when you're soloing, it's OP, man. Wait, how? In, I'm like, guys, I'm getting so distracted by chat. I keep running past there. How am I supposed to get over here? Is it up on a hill? I honestly don't remember you guys. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I'm so stupid. That's the town next door. I need to go over here. Okay, look. Over 500 days played time, maybe 400. I literally was trying to run to this town, which to be fair, it should not show it right here when it's literally right here, but you know? I like how I'm giving like pro tips on like, oh, use Dampen Magic. If you don't know, if you don't know much about the game, Dampen Magic, don't sleep on it. It is low key uh, one of the best abilities in the game. And I'm trying to run to a town that like I was just at and it's, you know, it's moments like this that I'm like, maybe if I was a streamer who just talked less, <laughs> there would be less embarrassing moments. Um, all right, well, I guess we're following a Paladin. All right, so let's see how many Horde versus Alliance there are in this area. So there's two Alliance, Mansky and Alter Judia. Oh, here's a third Alliance, Math D. Alright, so we're 3 0. Wait, what is this? Slave Master Blackheart? What? No, I just want the line. Oh, it's Dark Iron. Yes, please. Give me that Dark Iron Ore. You know, I'm gonna kill this Blazing Elemental. Because you know what's awesome? If you do Fire Ward, when Homie runs over here and punches me. I'm immune. Oh, he might not even make it to me. What? How is a fire elemental resisting frostbolt? Get out of here with that. Honestly, I think since, like, fire elementals are immune to fire, I think they should take extra damage from frost. I think it's only fair. Alright, well, he didn't drop anything. I'm gonna have to clear out some quests actually so this one is a dungeon quest but it's just to turn it in that one's done i think i just abandoned the elite quest for now because i know where to grab them they're all in town oh is that four now three now four now hey there for the alliance Oh my god, see what I'm talking about? He literally wants me to listen to him. Tell me what drives this vengeance. Continue, please. Let me confer with my Be colleagues. Careful. I'm like, Be I'm not going to confer with anybody. Like, get out of here with that. That's not a dungeon, is it? Flawless flame? Nope. Wait, it says elite, but... Have a good one. Be Have careful. Alright, well, I don't know what... Oh, heart of flame? Oh, no, it's not. I don't know what I'm saying. Wait, what is this? A human rogue, 5 and 0. Oh. Five and O. Oh. Tell me, nobody plays Horde. We're like the cool stream. We're literally like the kid in the cafeteria who's sitting in the corner, kind of edgy, kind of cool. Like not in like a weird, scary way, but in like a, does he have tattoos way? And like, I don't know, does he drive a motorcycle in high school? I don't know. I don't know. We're like, we're like that guy in like every, uh, every movie about high schoolers and of course all the actors are like 37 years old because they don't want to cast people who actually look like kids so we're actually we're actually like 37 years old but we're playing a character who looks cool 
Does that make sense? Is anybody following this this whole thought process? Uh, let's see. I want to go. Can I go up here? There we go. Who are you? How? Oh, level 49 elite. I'm good. God, I haven't been here in 155 years. I'm going to eventually figure out how to get up to this. Get up here. Just you wait. Honestly, guys with eyeliner is like an epic win. I think that should be more common. Although, I mean, this day and age, it really is much more common. But eyeliner has like always looked good on dudes. Please, no, please, no DC today. Okay. I wasn't going to leave until I could figure out what that guy's whole vibe was. How do I freaking get up there? It's been a hundred years, you guys. It's been one million years. Okay, I gotta go the other way, don't I? Okay, hold on, we're gonna do this. It's gonna happen. I, it's literally been forever, all right? And hey, most people don't even make it this far on their hardcore characters, all right? What percentage of people, what percentage of characters actually have made it to level 50? You know, we are in the top percentage here and I am sticking with it. And I have to really sneeze. I warned you. I did warn you. Don't say it. Whoa! Don't want to go over there. Where's my flight master? I'm so bad at video games. Of course, it's tucked away over here. Thanks, you guys. Bless you as well. You know, I was kind of hoping that um, student of the gospel was going to bless me. It seems like their blessing might be... I mean, it's not that I don't appreciate your guys' blessing, but I feel like... Their blessing, it's got to be like a stronger blessing, right? How are you? Love, with you? Love how for no reason this sign is like pure white. Like this is blinding me. Husky never exaggerates time frames. It's so true. I also, like there's a thing about me is I never exaggerate time frames. And I also have like the world's best memory. As you guys know, I have like a, such a strong memory. I would say I, I have, like... Oh, my God. How many freaking quests are there? Okay, so... Let's see. That one's already done. Yeah, I guess Hinterlands. I'm just going to... Abandon that. Abandon that. But, like, Ungoro is, like, coming up. A sample of slime? This wants me to go to Fellwood. I'm not going to Fellwood yet. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make hey, this good. place work. There. Watch your back. Off Watch your back. You got my attention. Be good. Interest you on the fight? All right. So we got our good old uh, dark iron ore. Love to see it. Watch your back. What's on your mind? I Off can't remember if these guys give me anything. To buy. What it's can cool. I do for I, Thorium Brotherhood, I mean, that was all that, all that rep was like. That was for all the people who were actually in guilds and like actually playing the game correctly. Uh, I never was good at this kind of stuff. I want to look like this guy, though. I mean, Homie has got this game figured out. Look at him. Absolutely decked out. And like, literally, look at this. Literally doesn't have a shirt on. One arrow to the chest, and all this armor does nothing, but he doesn't care because he's that cool. He's literally that cool. He does not even care. There you go, student of the gospel. I knew I knew it would be more, more, it would resonate with me more if it came from you. I do appreciate everyone. There's another alliance Drexler. Do Horde actually exist? I don't know if Horde are real. Do you guys know if Horde are real or are they a myth? I don't actually know. It's starting to feel like a myth. It's honestly starting to feel like a myth. Is that another one? Sneaky failed. Man, it must be really hard to find a group as an uh, alliance, huh? Oh my god, someone's literally just making fake characters and killing them at level one.
Okay, so there is a quest all the way over there. Head of Overseer Maltrux, Secret Plans, Fiery Flux. I mean, I know the outhouse quest is over there. I don't want to quite go down there yet. I mean, we're starting to get we're starting to get some pretty good zones. Kind of love that for us. I'm finally gonna drink some of my new delicious water. Large Crits has hit level 60. What a great name. What a great name, Large Crits. That name is bomb. I eventually need to switch back to 60 frames per second. You guys got any fun plans for uh, the week coming up or is everybody just working? Ooh, this guy's green. Some of these guys are green. Crazy. Love to see it. Well, I guess I did just hit level 50. But that means I'm still doing okay on leveling. I'm not super far behind on the XP gain, even though I haven't done any dungeons. Ooh, Golem Oil and Heart of Flame. I mean, I'll kill elementals all day. These guys are easy. Has been killed by a great shark in Tanaris? What? What is going on? It really sucks to be these people. How about you? Do I need you? Oh, I have to kill 20 of these guys. I hope you're ready. I hope you guys are ready for a lot of killing of golems. Work, sad face, classes, and other responsibilities. Yeah, I feel that. I'm always impressed when people stay in school. <laughs> I legit could not force myself to stay in school any longer, even though I tried. I actually, I need to eat one of these. So one's spirit. This one's intellect. I guess we can just do spirit. I mean, I probably should have done that before I did evocation, but whatever. Those are the stupid things from... Uh, Blasted Lands or whatever. It's like they're cool, but man, I can't believe I almost died doing those stupid Blasted Lands quests. God, they were, I was gonna be, I would be so mad if that's where I died. I did see today, um, I think it was level 60. Oh, hold on, let me kill this guy. He's being kind of a turd about it. Why I'm casting Frostbolt. I could just wand it down, but. Uh, here, let me summon some water. Because I can only do two at a time right now. I have to spend, spend 500 mana for two bottles of water. Sure beats buying it, though. Uh, I think it was level. Not 22. Min level 60. What? I do 59? That's weird they can't do 60. Uh, let's see. Dire Maul, Scarlet Worker, Dire Maul, Black Rock Depths, Dire Maul. Lots of people dying in Dire Maul, actually. Black Rock Spire, Eastern Kingdoms. Anyways, it was a level 60 that fell to death. Can you imagine getting that far and then falling to death? I would actually just quit everything. I would call into work and be like, I quit. I would call the family and say I'm no longer coming to the family reunions. I would I would call a TV station that I don't even work for and say I quit. Like, I, I would just quit everything. I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. <laughs> formerly <laughs> Husky trademark, formerly Husky Starcraft. I love how Husky is a trademark and Husky Starcraft is a registered, I think it's a registered trademark is the R, right? I love that they're two different ones.
Also, grats to you for taking the time to find how to put those in chat. You know, back in my day, they had little icons that were similar to emojis, like a smiley face and stuff, but you had to know the, um, I forget the name of it. It's like a code. You had to hit alt like one, four, three, five or whatever. Like in each one had a code that you had to memorize. And I used to feel so cool because I had so many of them memorized. And now kids these days, they literally have a thousand emojis at their fingertips. They don't have to remember anything other than where it's located. And even then, once they use it once, they, uh, alt codes. That's right. Is that still a thing? It was alt, right? Like one... No, it's not doing it. Oh my god, yes it is. It still works. Are you kidding me? This is what I'm talking about. This is like emojis before they were emojis. People don't even know how good they have it. Like, they literally don't know how good they have it. There, that's what I'm saying to guilds. And that's why, honestly, millennials were a different breed. You know, it's like, yeah, we had computers, but could you even call them computers? Like we had DOS. You had to type in, to install a program, you had to know what command to type to get it to install and where to install and like how to launch it. You had to type a command. Kids these days, they don't get it, man. Gen Z doesn't know the pain. They will never know the pain. And this is why millennials, you know, right when we all graduated college, and by all I mean everyone but me, uh, a recession hit, and we're out here using alt codes, they truly don't know. They don't get it. Actually, they have been saying that Gen Z doesn't know how to use computers as good as millennials because they are used to growing up on phones where everything just works. So, like, I feel like young Gen X and all of Gen Z is like the only people who know how to use computers, according to research. Man, lots of druids fallen, uh, fallen down today. Oh look, another, another alliance. Is that an alliance? Oh look, another alliance. I don't think we've seen a single horde. When's the last time we saw a horde? I actually don't think we've seen any horde. You know what's kind of crazy is leveling a warrior, you can't get Ice Barb Spear. You guys remember Ice Barb Spear? You literally cannot get that. And that's like the best weapon to level from 50, or is it 51? Yeah, 51 to 60. Does not exist. gold veins anymore but I've, I've always thought that a gold bar should be worth one gold you know like that should be a gold right there that I just found I never lose my train of thought. I literally don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I was saying that Gen Z doesn't know how to use computers. But hey, I just I just go based on what research I read online, and all that research is 100% true. Is 100% true. I mean, yeah, if you're talking about writing programs, I mean, at some point, you know, it gets further and further down. It's like saying, like, well, if you know how a computer works, then do you know how the processor works? Well, do you know how electricity works? Well, do you know how each individual cell in the processor works? Well, do you know what those cells are made out of? Like, I mean, it's like, how far down do you really want to go? Uh, I mean, I'm down to go. I'm down to go all the way down to the atoms. You know, at the end of the day, nothing ever touches, you know, because atoms never actually touch. So, you know, you want to get, you want to get that specific. We can go there. 
we can go there. Hey, there's actually... This might actually be one of my bigger streams. Apparently a Sunday night. Everybody's awake. Everybody doesn't want to go to work. I still... It's still hilarious to me that I literally stream at the absolute worst time to be streaming. As far as like... Because like all of Europe's asleep. And then half of the US is asleep. And what's that leave us with? Like Hawaii and Australia maybe? And nobody down under is watching H the Husky Husky, let's be honest. Maybe there's one of you. But, you know, you're out there trying to fight spiders this big just like I am. So I don't know why you would want to live that nightmare. Because you're already living it. And, uh, you know, I kid. I literally love Australia. Australia is my favorite country I've ever been to. It is totally underrated. Everyone there, at least when I was there, was so freaking nice to tourists. And... I love it. They're so lax about a lot of stuff. Although I haven't been, I haven't been in like 20 years, so I don't know if it got, it's gotten crazy. I've heard it's gotten a little crazier down there since then, but at least when I was there, man, Australia, New Zealand, amazing. And no, I'm not lumping them into the same thing. I know they're not the same, um, but I sure as hell enjoyed it. Black Rock Mountain. All right, this is kind of a weird dead end. Not really a lot going on down here. Anything up here? Let's see. What is this for? Spiders? Is this an alliance? Ah, oh, what do you know? An alliance. Imagine seeing you here, alliance. What are the chances? Apparently, like, 10 to 0. And honestly, watching uh, watching rugby is pretty fun, too. I forget who, like... Because New Zealand's always had a good rugby team, right? Like New Zealand Blacks or what's it called? It's something like that. Um, their logo is like a leaf and the all their colors all black. Um, I forget who was the top dog on that team like 20 years ago or whenever I was there. But, man, he was a beast. And I, I would watch it every time it was on because we were there for a month. So, I actually got to watch uh, several games. I'm just like, man, this sport is insane. Literally insane. What is up here? Am I tripping? There's somebody up there? Oh, maybe someone's just up there for funsies, I guess? Yeah, New Zealand was awesome. I remember when we went to Australia. I, I can't remember if it was in Australia or in New Zealand. But we went to this, like, park thing. Not an amusement park, but, like, I, I don't know what they're called. But you basically you get in this little death cart, and you push it down a hill, and you race down these crazy steep tracks. And it's not even like, oh, I'm sitting in a car with, like, a steering wheel. It's like these little death carts with tiny wheels, and you have this handle that you like turn, and if you let go of the handle, it slams on the brakes and launches you off of it. And I just remember, I was like, how old was I, like 13 or 12 or something? And just being like, they would never allow this in the US, ever. And you race each other down, and there's like these hairpin turns that if you don't see them coming, you literally just crash into them full speed, head on. And I'm like, surely many people have died on these things. There is no way they haven't. And it was the most fun I've had. Because, like, everyone, like, does, does like, bungee jumping and zip lining and all that. And I'm like, that's kind of a passive experience, you know? Like, that's kind of like, okay, put a, put a rubber band on me and I fall off this thing. It's kind of passive. But these death carts, man, so freaking fun. And I, that's when I realized, like, oh, this place... They let you do you. They let you do you, man. And oh my god, it was so fun. I think about that all the time. And that was like 20 years ago. And I'm like, I hope they still have those. I really hope they still have those. Because they are... They are everything. And I think my dad or my brother literally slammed into the wall head on going full speed. And even where like at the bottom, you're supposed to like slowly break and like safely pull over to get out. But like, if the person behind you didn't know that, 
Oh, they're blasting into you going 40 miles an hour in a death trap. And you know what they gave you for protection? A literal bicycle helmet. Like, literally the type of bicycle helmet you would go to, like, Walmart to get your kid when they're, like, you know, they have training wheels so they're not really going to fall off. So you're just getting, like, the cheapest helmet you can find. That's what they gave you for these death machines. Not a motorcycle helmet. Not a... Not some sort of special padding. None of that. You got a bicycle helmet that looks like it's literally just made out of packing styrofoam. And has a piece of plastic on top. Like, that it's not going to protect you. And... On, in a weird way, it made it more fun. Oh, there's good old Math D. Man, these poor Alliance, how do they ever find a group? Fenrisk, thanks for the follow. I'm getting so much better. Sinvicta would be so proud of me. So proud of me for, uh, for responding to people, paying attention to notifications. Like, I mean, if you guys saw my first streams, I was... I was awful. The personal growth is just fantastic. Was it like an alpine bobsled type ride? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if bobsled's the right word. Maybe. It is definitely more of a sled than a cart. But you steer it, and it's just you. And it's not guided. Like, I mean, there's walls, obviously. You're not going to, like, fly off a cliff. But, um, yeah, I don't know what they were called. They were so awesome, though. And it was, like, one of the best memories. And also the, um... Oh, look, another alliance. Luna War. Uh, or Luin War. Um, also the speedboats in Australia. That was one of the very first things we did. Where you get in a boat with, like, 12 other tourists. And you're packed in there like sardines. You can Google pictures of it. And they just fly through these canyons. Um, where the rivers cut through. And literally you're flying by at, like... I mean, I don't, I don't know knots to miles per hour, but it's a lot of knots. And uh, they get within, like, inches of the wall. And then they do these crazy 360s. And, like, um, that was one of our first days there. And I was sitting on the edge and later learned I have terrible motion sickness. So I was actually miserable the whole time. But the first 360 they did, like, the boat comes in. And then they're trying to do a 360. And it's not a car. You can't just, like, spin it. And so, like, it would dig in the front of the boat. And then like whip it around. And so if you're sitting here, which is where I was, it like goes in and then whips it around. So you're like on the outside of the whip. So you're getting all the all the G-forces. And uh, got hit in the face with a wave. My glasses go sailing. Imme I mean, they're in the bottom of the river still to this day, I'm sure. And uh, they're they're gone forever. And I am I'm blind as you know. I don't I want to say blind as a bat because I am you know I don't know what a, if a bat can see or whatever. Um, but absolutely obliterated me and so i literally had to spend the entire rest of the trip wearing prescription sunglasses i should find these pictures i look like such a dork and like prescription sunglasses wow husky that sounds super cool oh no they were horrifically ugly glasses like absolutely awful um i looked like such a dork and i literally spent the entire trip with sunglasses on. And no, we didn't have the ones that like turn, you know, from sun, like from sunglasses to like regular. Oh no, we didn't have none of that shenanigans or, you know, oh God, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Oh, I don't actually need these guys. What am I doing? Whatever, we're gonna kill a couple of them. I don't actually need these guys. I, I don't know why I jumped down here. This seemed like a good idea. But now I'm kind of like, why is this guy patrolling all the way over here? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? Oh, it's an elevator. Can you die, please? My god. Go away, Stabby McStabberson. Dark Iron Scraps. Uh, hey, Jennifer. I'm doing good. How are you? Wait, am I wearing contacts right now? No, I got LASIK. I hated glasses. I've ha I had glasses since I was like, I don't know, six or something or eight. I wasn't like a kid kid with glasses. I was like a preteen with glasses, which I know is like a kid still. But um, I wasn't like four with glasses. But I probably needed them, though. And I just always hated them so much because it's like, 
you know, kids are mean. Like, they would make fun of you for wearing glasses. They call you four eyes. Uh, my comeback in all my ingenuity was, yeah, I may be four eyes, but at least I can see better than you. Get it? Because I have more, more eyes than them. And oddly enough, to, like, kids who were trying to bully you, they literally had no comeback for that. Because, like, honestly, having four eyes would be better than having two. So it's like... They, they straight up would stop making fun of me at that point. Even even me at, at nine years old or whatever was surprised at how well that comeback worked. Um, that's that's how I always fought. You know, because I was like a pretty nerdy looking kid. Uh, not that I'm looking any different these days. But uh, I was a pretty nerdy looking kid. So people would always, you know, you pick on the nerds. That's what you do. That's, that's what millennials did as children is try and pick on the nerds. But I just always kind of countered it by... Is this going to be an elevator that kills me? I swear to God, if I die to an elevator. Okay, it's moving quite slow. I think we can... Do I even need to go down here? I honestly don't know. I don't do I, I? don't think I need to be down here, do I? All right, it's taking me up, I guess. Um, but honestly, the best way to combat the bullying was just make fun of yourself. Like, what was some of the other stuff they would say? Uh... I mean, they would they would say like just mean stuff like, "Oh, you're so stupid," and uh, yeah, and, I, and I'd be like, "Yeah, that's because I'm a fucking idiot." Like, what do you guys expect? Like, I'm stupid, all right? And like, literally, the self-deprecating humor it just like takes all the wind out of their sails. And thankfully, like, my school never really had bullying. Like, oh, we're gonna shove you down the stairs level of like assault bullying. We we didn't have that many fights that I know about at all. Um, but yeah, self-deprecating humor and being like good enough to hold your own at sports uh like in pe that was that was huge too like i always uh tried to be good enough that when like the jocks would try and gang up on me on like dodgeball day i was good enough that they realized like oh wait don't actually mess with him because he might actually get us out and then everyone will laugh at us and so the, those were kind of the two main things especially self-deprecating humor that gets you so far in life like like, being able to call yourself a dumbass when people are least expecting it, it will make, it makes your life so much easier. <laughs> Literally, just being able to say you're an idiot is, like, such an invaluable tool, and it has gotten me through many, many a situation where people were trying to, like, mess with me. I don't actually need to kill this guy, but I'm going to, because why not? But yeah, oh yeah, back to LASIK. I hated glasses. And uh, like, like when you be in PE or, or playing sports or whatever, you get hit in the face with the ball. It's like there's nothing more embarrassing than like, A, you just got hit in the face with the ball and people are going to laugh at you. B, your glasses flew off and now you can't see. And C, now you're like crawling around on the ground like you're in freaking, oh look, another freaking alliance. Um, now you're crawling around on the ground like an episode of Scooby-Doo trying to find your glasses. It's just like humiliating nonstop. Or like you fall asleep. You're on, you're on like a, 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 a school trip and, you know, you fall asleep you somewhere on your glasses you're and they get all bent out of shape and you can't find them and like, it's just, it's just awful. Glasses are the worst. Like, it, you know, people look great in glasses. I, I don't care about that. But for me, just the functionality of having glasses, I always hated it. So I got contacts when I was a little bit older. What was that little animation. I don't know what that was. Um, I always hated glasses. So I got contacts and contacts are equally awful in their own way. Less about like how they interact with the world and just more about the maintenance that contacts take. I hated every single second of having contacts. And I, one time I fell asleep in them. Uh, yes, literally at school, because I finished my test early, and, but I couldn't leave class. Um, I think this was in college, actually. Which, looking back, they definitely should have let me leave class. The test, but whatever. So I fell asleep in class, and then they were really dry, and I didn't have my, um, I didn't have my contact solution with me. And this, is, this was, like, right when I first got them. And so I was like, okay, well, what do you do when they're dry? You moisturize them, right? So I literally, like the idiot that I am, this is what I'm talking about, call yourself a dumbass and people let their guard down. Being the dumbass I am, I took the contacts into the bathroom and rinsed them off. And for those of you who don't have contacts, never, ever 
ever rinse them off because it's the solution that keeps them moisturized and not stuck to your eyeball, not water. So I washed off all the solution, trying to like re-moisturize them. And as soon as you put them in, after you've rinsed them off, they fuse to your eyeball like freaking, I don't know, like when you, we have saran wrap and it like touches one corner together and then everything sticks together and you can never get it apart again. Like imagine that, but on your eyeball and trying to get that off my eyeball was the worst experience I've had like ever. It is the worst thing in my entire life. And I just remember while this was all happening, I was just like, I am never going to do this again. As soon as I have money and I'm old enough, I am going to get LASIK. I'm going to do it. And so I, ever since then, I'd always wanted LASIK. And I got LASIK uh, much later than I had originally hoped for. Um, I can't remember when I got LASIK. I'm sure I posted about it at some point on all my, all my socials. Um, and I have loved LASIK every second. I literally try and remember once a day, even though it's been like maybe almost 10 years now, because this was at our first house. So yeah, maybe, maybe 10 years ago, uh, or close to it. Um, I try I still to this day, try and be thankful every time that I can remember to think about it for how amazing LASIK is. And um, yeah, the only, the only downside to LASIK, there's a few downsides. One, obviously the procedure is kind of annoying um, but for me, it's like I wanted it so bad. I was like, I will punch myself in the face a hundred times to get LASIK. That is how much I want it. Um, and so, yeah, there, there's a couple downsides to LASIK. Like one is uh, at nighttime, you kind of get more halos around lights. So like when you're driving at night and stuff, um, you get you definitely get more glare and more halos, which, at, which keep in mind, they may have improve this in the last 10 years and I haven't looked into it because I don't need to um, so I have slightly more halos but it's gotten much much better I'd say it's like 90% gone but it did take a long time for several years it was really hard to drive at night so I just would <laughs> make an excuse not to go places um, oh sorry dude I didn't mean to steal that that actually wasn't my intention um, and also reading really small fonts like looking at really small stuff up close um you actually lose that detail so even though i had i was i was i can never remember if it was farsighted or nearsighted i couldn't see fur further out but i could see stuff really close whatever that is um but now it like kind of flipped where like i see everything like past my nose i see everything perfectly but if i'm trying to like really do a finite little detail um, you actually lose the ability to see that stuff and uh, just a little bit of seeing like if it's low light and you're trying to make details out it's a little bit worse but it's just like it's so I mean that stuff affects me like maybe once a month you know like how often unless you're a circuit board maker or a jeweler right? Jewel, jeweler jeweler it's kind of a weird word to say jeweler no jeweler why does that sound so weird jeweler I don't know but anyways if you're a jeweler is that a jeweler? Jewel. Er. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got through that. But unless you're doing something like that all the time, um, I love every second of LASIK. It is the best money I've ever spent. That's literally what I tell people. I think I spent, I went to a nicer place because they were the ones who did the Lakers or whatever. And I think back then I paid like, I think it was eighteen hundred dollars uh, per eye, so that ends up being like three thousand six hundred bucks. And a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, so much money!" Which you know, it is a lot, but it literally fixes a handicap for thirty six hundred bucks. And it was someone that like, you know, if they did the Lakers, I'm assuming they're trustworthy. And to fix, like, imagine any handicap that someone might have. Like, if you could just fix it for thirty six hundred dollars, like you're gonna figure out how to make thirty six hundred dollars. And so that's kind of how I look at it, and I love it. Highly recommend LASIK. Hey, what up, Charlie Smith? Trying to keep it together over there? Good old Facebook, man. Thanks for holding it down, making sure it's still there. Uh, sorry, that was like a 20-minute ramble about LASIK and other random stuff. Uh, Dragon Wolf... Wolf Doctor Chin? Dragon Wolf Doctor Chin. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure exactly. I mean, that's a pretty long name. Uh, hello, so I just want to ask if that is your natural hair color. I sometimes wake up in a cold sweat at night from nightmares of brown-haired husky. Please put those thoughts to rest for me. 
Uh, well, I'm sorry that uh, I'm haunting your dreams. That's not fun for anybody. Um, my natural hair color is light brown. So when I first started doing YouTube, that is my natural hair color. Uh, but the main problem with my natural hair, I'm just gonna kill this guy even though I don't need to, uh, is that it's really fine and super straight. And like, I have a lot of hair, but it's really, really fine. So even when it grows out, it just like kind of floats in the air. And then once it finally gets long enough, it just lays straight down. And there's like no volume whatsoever. It doesn't look good. I just have never ever liked it. So I discovered like eight years ago or however long it's been now. Again, I have no sense of time. Um, that when you bleach it, it actually damages it and adds lots of volume. And like it does better stuff where it can kind of just like flop around. Like look at that. Look at that. I look amazing. I look amazing. And uh, so then I kind of cut it into a mohawk. I mean, that's making me uncomfortable. Um, it's like a mohawk-ish. It needs to trim right now. But uh, I love it so much more. And I need to be better about actually... Um, oh my god, it's Sinvicta. Oh my god, it's Mr. Sinvicta. Back to play WoW because he's addicted. I think he's been level 10 for like a month. Let's see. Oh no, he's level 12! Holy cow! Round of applause for Sinvicta. Reaching level 12 after about a month. Very proud of him. Very, very proud of him. I think at this point he's just trying to ignore me, which can you really blame him? He hasn't been feeling well the last couple days, so maybe I should maybe I should take it a little easy on him. Oh snap, he actually dropped that quest item. Is that the only thing I need for that quest? No, it doesn't look like it. Do I have to go down? I think I have to go down. Doesn't it seem like we'd have to go down. You know what? Guys, we're going to get so dangerous with it. Are you ready? No, we're not. Mm. Is this going to come up? All right, we're going to we're going to try this elevator. Do I actually have to come down here? Okay, yeah, at least for the daggers I do, and then maybe I do need to go in the cave. I don't actually know where the majority of these quests are. If we're going to be completely honest. God, is it going to go down again? You know what? Let's just jump down. Good enough for me. This elevator, man, it is freaking me out. It's so, like, rickety. Level 50. At least I have a couple zones I can quest in. It's kind of a big relief. Where are you going, slave worker? Also, why am I killing slaves? That just does not seem... That doesn't seem like, am I the baddie? I feel like if I didn't have to do this quest, I wouldn't. But, you know. Blizzard is making me do it, so we gotta blame Blizzard. Oh my god, he's an elite. I don't even need him. Wait, why is the... He's not a rare spawn, right? Doesn't he look like a rare spawn? He is not. So he's not an elite. But is Strider? I'm... Really, I came all the way down here and it's literally an elite? Are you kidding me? They made this whole zone just for that one elite? I ain't got time for that. Yeah, robot. Our uh, Robo Sujet. Sinvicta's so been around forever, man. His channel's been doing really, really well this last couple of years, which is awesome. I'm so proud of him. They grew up so fast. But yeah, he's been... He's probably been my longest online friend that I've kept in touch with. Um, the longest. Kind of crazy to think about. Okay, we're going to come down here. Thankfully, that didn't kill me. Oh, look. Another alliance. Oh, no. It's Mansky. We've already seen him. 
Any AOE grinding to 60? No. Um, I know it's boring, but A, that's what all the other streamers do, and B, um, I'm treating this character like my firstborn. I'm being so safe, so delicate, and because um, I really want to get to level 60 on my first try. Like, that's just a, a personal goal that I've set. I mean, obviously, everyone wants to get to level 60 on their first try, because why wouldn't you want to? But... Um, I'm thinking I'm I well I made a I made a warrior alt and I'm much more aggressive on him, so I'm like kind of gearing him out. I'm having much more fun. It's only level ten, but I'm just gonna go like really go for it on that character. Um, but this one I just want to try and get to sixty safely. And yes, it's slow. Yes, it's not perfect. But you know, WoW's not going anywhere, and I am allowed to play the game like that. So that is that has been my approach. And I, you know, I haven't seen any characters die in front of me, but I definitely have seen some AOE mages get 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 pretty close to having some issues. Um, that is how I leveled when WoW Classic came out. That's pretty much how I leveled my um, uh, my mage, because it, it is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. But again, I'm, I just want to be extra extra safe. Age of Empires grinding. God, I love Age of Empires. That game is so fun. Okay, so I don't understand. What is over here? I don't know, man. I don't need any of these guys. Is he gonna. Is that a group of guys? Kind of annoying that they're like right there. Alright, while we wait, let's take care of this. Oh, nope, now they're coming back. They're really walking in a line. I'm not going to try and take that. See, if if I was an AoE mage, I'd be like, oh yeah, perfect. AoE grinding these guys. They're only level 45, but still, I'm like, we're going to be extra safe. I don't. I, I haven't even researched higher levels of Blizzard, you know? That's how little AoEing I'm planning to do until level 60. Dead spiders. I don't need these guys. I think I need to go under to these caves. Blue Streak 39. Thanks for the follow. Wands OP for a priest. Oh my god, what is this? I don't. Shadow Silk Poacher? Why are there poachers? Okay, please don't aggro me. Please don't aggro me. Please don't aggro me. I feel like I was getting all kinds of turned around. Ah! Oh snap, champions pauldrons of defense. How much defense? TBD. Ten defense. Oh, and they're male. Man, talk about a vendor trash. I don't think there's a lot of uh, tanking shaman out there. And even if there was, like straight up ten defense with no stam is like so garbage. Big fan, Mike. You still play Hearthstone? You used to fall asleep during your pack openings. Oh my god, those days were crazy. Uh, I log in every now and then, but I mean, I, I haven't bought Hearthstone cards or played enough to unlock anything in forever. You know, it's just kind of like, you can only play so many games at a time, and it's not that I don't like Hearthstone. Maybe I should download on my phone again, because I was playing Cookie Run Kingdom, but um, I just got burnt out, because I got to Grandmaster and like their PvP thing. And I was just like, all right, I mean, do I really need to keep playing Cookie Run Kingdom? I was in the top, like, 0.6% or something of players. And I got addicted because it's a game that Ro plays a character in, or she voices a character in, I should say. And um, so I thought that was super cool. I wanted to support it, like, wanted to help it out and play it and all that. Um, and it's fun because it's, it's like an auto-battler. So, like, 
I'd normally play it while I was doing other stuff, and it was just kind of like in the background or whatever. But um, yeah, I got rid of that. Like when I started playing WoW a little bit before, and that's partially why I came back to streaming. So I'm like, well, I have all this free time, so I'm not playing Cookie Run Kingdom, and so maybe I should download Hearthstone on my phone. That, that game's great because it's kind of like you can just kind of casually play it. It's not something you have to take super serious. But I just really don't want to buy cards. But then, like, once you're playing, you're like, oh, if I only had, if I only had this card, it'd be so much easier. I feel like I should go down, go down to the mines, play some Minecraft down there. But thanks, Blue Streak Thirty Nine. I appreciate it. I also have a Discord. I forgot to link it in chat. I'll, uh, I'll do that in just a sec. But I'm fairly active on there. Not as much as I've been playing WoW a lot, but definitely more active on there soon. I think there's over almost like 1,200 people or something. Which is kind of crazy. Never thought it would be that many. Actually, yeah, let me put it on Twitch. Let's see here. Discord. All right, let's see if it'll actually let me pin it. Oh my God, it actually let me pin it. It actually let me pin it. There we go, okay. Consider it pinned. See, I feel like if we go, where's the main? Yeah, the main caves are over here, yeah. Of course it aggroed too, why wouldn't it? It's better not be the stupid elite strider again. Mr. Stabby over here, he's stabbing me like crazy. Thankfully Ice Bear is pretty freaking good. These guys are only level 45. Lost chat. Where'd you go, chat? There you are. Okay, good. We're back. We are back. Honestly, I'm going to switch to mage armor. These guys are low enough level. I think I can handle it. Your voice good to go for shoutcasting? You steal the OG. I just have to be smarter about it. I used to literally just cast like hundreds of games a month. Uh... Like, at one point, I was uploading 100 videos a month, plus the events, plus streaming, plus the, like, travel, and just even going to more events. Like, it, it just was a lot. Um, so I definitely have learned to choose my battles more wisely instead of just destroying my voice for the sake of making content, which was hard for me because I used to love to just do everything I could think of. Um, so, like, if I was to cast an event... I don't know how my voice would hold up, honestly. Like, if I'm full on hype, because I at the events I'm immediately hype. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to be super chill. Um, I, I have a few tricks I can do, but it, it would definitely be dicey. It would be dicey for sure. But I mean, I could do like, I could do like special events and stuff, maybe for like one or two days. But you know, like the big MLGs and stuff, those were four day events. They were they were pretty crazy. I think I can just run. Oh god. Oh god. I thought I was thought I was falling to death. I thought I was gonna keep falling. Whoo! My heart skipped a beat there for a second. Not gonna lie. Thank God for ice block. 
Not that it actually did anything, but if I was falling further, the timing would have been perfect. Is this the stupid... Yeah, we're back here already. Oh my god, I made the worst loop ever. Where is, like, the actual caves? I'm so stupid. I'm gonna go over here. I swear, if I die to these stupid elevators... Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Blizzard H quarter, headquarters. And I'm not gonna make a scene, but I'm just gonna look at them with a frown. And they will know. They will know. Alliance number 50 million. I mean, some of these alliances are the same ones. We still have not seen a horde the entire time we've been here. Literally have not seen a single horde, I think, this entire... Well, not entire stream, because I was in Ogremar, so obviously there was a horde in there. Oh, no. Level 59, FN chat, an orc warrior, blood axe warmonger, and black rock spire. Rip. God, I feel like dying at 59 has got to be worse than dying at 60. I think we were talking about this in one of the previous streams. But I would not be going to Black Rock Spire at 59, I'm going to be honest. Alright, now, now we're in the cave. Finally figured this out. Any other high levels that I missed? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he's poking me like crazy. He does have a pretty cool beard, though. Oh, love when I click that by accident. You know, let's just summon another one. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Two water at a time, like an idiot. But if you guys want to join the guild, I know the majority of you probably don't even play WoW. We are on Defice Pillager as Horde. You can message anyone in the guild. Uh, the guild's called Husky is back, so you can just slash who Husky. You just type slash who and then space Husky, and anyone in the guild can invite. And yeah, super casual, super fun been loving it. Oh my god, a troll priest just drowned in Ashenvale. Ashenvale is pretty dangerous, man. Like, the sentinel runners or whatever, the, the guards, they will track you down and just murder you if you're not paying attention. Uh, Zarfnog. A, love your name. B, e, thanks for the follow. C, make sure to stay hydrated. It's very important. I say as I'm drinking an energy drink right before bed. Ooh, this one's true silver. Yes, please. Get out of here, Alliance scum. Paladome. I'm just imagining, because like, I've never done any instances on this guy, but I'm just imagining, like... Oh, you're clearing an instance. Everybody's level 45. Oh no, the warrior tank died. There's that awkward moment of like, do we look for one more? <laughs> do we tell them that a warrior has died in here? Are their bodies all laying inside the same instance? And it's just then the new guy's like, um, what? what is this? Is this, is this something I should know? It's like, don't worry about it, dude. Don't ask any more questions. What is a quarry gate? That makes me really nervous. Really, any gate kind of makes me nervous. I mean, Paladome is coming this way. Is he going through the quarry gate? No. Maybe he knows something I don't. Alright, we have gone through said quarry gate.
Yeah, but like, if the healer's bad, I mean, I guess if the healer is bad, you wouldn't want to be in the group because it like the the tank dying means you might die. So, I guess if anyone's bad, you just you just want to deuce out of that group regardless. Forging the shaft. That's the name of this quest. Forging the shaft. Whoever came up with that at Blizzard and got that approved, you know they were so proud of themselves. They're like, no, no. We're going to call it Forging the Shaft. What do you guys think? I want to say, I think it's no coincidence that as soon as I'm in like a level 50 area, I have more viewers than any other of my streams. Like literally the second I step foot in here, everybody's like, oh my god, we gotta, we gotta tune into this. Oh my god, honey, are you kidding me? I don't actually have any mana. Gotta try and be smart here. Oh yeah, you're done, dude. You are Dunzo Washington. Zeb Denzel. I've I've made that joke like a hundred times in my life, and nobody gets it. It's it's like not really. Dunzo sounds nothing like Denzel, but in my mind, it's funny every time. I don't know. It's it's. I feel like it's like maybe like if you're a stand-up comedian, like there's one joke that you're just like, no, this is funny. Just because no one has ever laughed at it in the history of me telling it doesn't mean it's not funny. And I'm like, that's literally the definition of unfunny is if nobody finds it funny, but you know. That is the nice thing about Frost is you be getting them clutch crits. That's a great character name, by the way, clutch crits. Um, I think it was big crits, right? Got a... Uh, Level 60 today. But that's what's great about Frost is you you'd be getting clutch crits all the time. Love me some more casting. Just hanging out in a cave. Just hanging out in a cave. Okay, we got the daggers already. I don't need the slaves. I'm assuming there's... Is there someone back here? Or is that just a dead end? I think it's just a dead end. For some reason, I feel like I'm in an instance right now. Doesn't this kind of feel like we're in BRD? I mean, we're kind of nearby BRD, but... You know, we're going to kill this guy. He's, he's looking a little sus over here. Ooh, you're about to get blasted, dude. 741. Oh, he got frozen again. Love single target frost mage, man. The downtime may be infinite. But when, like, there's nothing better than the feeling of your first frost bolt, the one that you're pulling them with, critting and freezing them. You know it's going to be a good day. Ooh. I mean, freezing is, like, the next best thing. But, like, the first frost bolt getting a crit and freezing, literally, there were, like, nothing else to do on that day. At this point, I'm just killing these guys because I need the experience. What's up, Mindy? Say clutch crits. <laughs> Five times fast. Clutch crits, clutch crits, clutch crits, clutch crits, clutch crits. I feel like I said it fast enough. And we are gonna we're gonna count that as a win. That is a very difficult thing to say quickly, however. Oh my god. On YouTube, literally their name is just okay. I like how they were like they were probably making their account and it was like, put your name here, and they were like, okay. Like they just answered the question instead of put their name, and I kinda love it. There's just you know, and we need to normalize just being okay, you know? Being okay is great. That's a great state of mind. Like you're doing okay, you're you're okay, you know. And that's fine. You're okay. It's great. Seems like a lot of people are making it to 60. You hear all the cheers. Yeah, every time someone gets 60, it gets down here. And I think it does it for both Horde and Alliance, which is kind of silly. 
I don't know why, but um, I mean, it's going to advertise when I hit 60 on my first try. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be bomb.com. I tried to buy bomb.com once. Uh, when you go to bomb.com, at least last time I went, they're like taking offers to buy it and I think the minimum bid is two million but it's also been that way for like a billion years so I don't know if anyone's ever gonna buy bomb.com but like bomb.com was like a, a millennial saying like nobody really says that anymore nobody really is out here saying bomb.com except millennials and so I think like you know as more time goes on no new millennials are being born we're, we're just dropping off like flies at this point. So, like, I feel like the value is going down over time, not up. Hey, now our buddy's on. Oh, wait, he's on his level 5 priest. <laughs> well, we'll see if he wants to do Hinterland's quest in a little bit. I'm currently clearing out this uh, spooky cave. Wait, says I need to pick something up here. Head of Overseer Maltorius? I don't even know who it is, but it is also an elite, so I don't know that I want to know. Yeah, we're basically a priest in the guild. Look at that, three priests and a mage. Sounds like a sitcom to me. Husky, can you pick my class for me to get to 60? I can't pick. Um, oh, this starts the quest. My quest log is full. Of course it is. Uh, and Ratchet. I don't want to abandon this one, but I think I'm going to. Yeah, I spent the time to get the maps, but I'm not going to go all the way down there just for that stupid quest. It's not going to happen. Sorry. Um... So, my personal favorite, obviously I'm super biased, but I love Mage. Level is Frost, single target. It's the safest, easiest class to level, in my opinion. You have infinite escapes, and you have slow fall for if you run off a ledge by accident. Um, you're very useful in every instance ever. You have water, like, there's just a lot, a lot of good things going on for Mages. Um, if I was to play a second class, I'm personally making Warrior, but Warrior is the most difficult, um, Ultra Central, I don't know what this stuff is. I don't think I've ever been down here that I can remember. Um, Warrior's fun, but is the hardest class to level, so I, I personally would not recommend Warrior. Hunter is fun, fairly easy, because your pet can save your life all the time, plus you have Fain Death. Um... So if it was me, I would do Mage or Druid, probably. But I, I always level a Mage first, just because it's such a strong class in so many ways. And then everything else are going to be my alts that are just going to be for fun. So. I don't know what this altar is. I truly don't. Uh, Priest would be good, too. But, like, Shaman's fun, Paladin's fun. I might do a Paladin. But if I if I was definitively giving you an answer, I would say mage. And then yeah, maybe maybe second would be paladin actually. Even though alliance are scum. So I'm glad I narrowed it down to every class except for warrior. I mean, honestly, that would be hilarious if you played Warrior. It's just so tough when you, like, don't have a character to feed it money. Because, like, obviously, Warriors are, like, 100% gear dependent. And then once you do have a character to feed it money, then it's, like, it becomes a whole different game. Um, so I, I went for Mage because it's, like, I have, like... Well, how much gold do I have on my bank? I have 70 gold on my bank. 
Uh, so between all my characters, I have 92 gold right now. And that includes all the skills I just trained. Um, given the guy who just logged in, eh -heh, funneled me like 60 gold or something for my mount. So, you know, whatever. But um, it still is nice to have a character where like everything you pick up is worth like 10 silver. And when you're leveling a warrior, like 10 silver buys you a new green. And so it's like, it's so easy to just get much better gear. And it makes, I think it makes it more fun when your warrior is like, not twinked out, like you don't have to get every perfect item, but just having like better stuff than you'd be finding. Um, I think it's way, 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 way more fun. That's just my opinion. And the thing is, is like every other class, I feel like just has bad versions of mage stuff. Like other than a pet, mages don't have pets, but it's like ice barrier. It's good enough to protect yourself. Um, like Frostbolt is one of the best casted spells in the entire game. Blink, like, okay, a rogue has sprint, but Blink is just better in my opinion. Um, you have ice block that dumps all aggro and like spills it onto other people. You have, like, Cold Snap that resets all your Frost Spells. Polymorph, it's like, yeah, you know, Hunters have Ice Trap, but it sucks. Uh, Druids have Entangling Roots, but it sucks. Rogues have Blind, but, yeah, it's okay, but it's not as good as Polymorph in most situations. And so it's just, like, I feel like Mage just has the best of so many different things that it's hard to play another class because it's like, well, if I was on my Mage, I could just use this. Um, but that, that's just because I, I truly love mage, so I might be... Ooh, there's a chest in here. You guys ready for this chest? There's not any more people in here, right? I knew there was going to be a chest somewhere in here. Hopefully nobody comes and steals it. Oh, snap. I had got Ben Thok Sash. 10 stamina, 11 in. Crit with spells by 1 and 12 damage. That is bomb, dude. That is super good. And it only requires level 49. I can literally hop on that. Pass it my way. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Grats. I don't know if you're watching, but... Does Vanilla have Water Elemental? No. I think that's um, Burning Crusade, right? I think so. Water Elemental's cool. But the thing about Water Elemental is um, that's when everyone else got, like, crazy stuff, too. Like Cloak of Shadows, Cheat Death. Oh, there's four Fate Leaf in there. It's random. Um, so it's like I would I would give up Water Elemental to take away <laughs> all those other abilities from other classes. Um, so it's like Water Elemental's cool, but I hated dealing with. Like, there's so many more counters to what mages could do come the other games. Alright, let me see. Do I have one of these things I can take? DBD. Trying to finish a few quests here. If I have time, I'll let you know in like 20 minutes. Uh, where are those things? Why am I super blind? I don't even know what it looks like, so that's a big part of it. Okay, I can get rid of a pumpkin. I don't need that. Don't need to be carrying around one pumpkin. Why am I so blind? It's not that. It's not that. I'm gonna find it, you guys. It's not that. There it is. Okay, it looks like a potion, that's why. net me dude just sitting in my net oh my gosh I'm so sorry risen dad I totally didn't see you subscribe to me I was talking about how good I am at noticing this stuff 
and that is a straight up subscription. So I really appreciate that. My uh, my bad on not acknowledging it right away. I guess I was trying not to die to dwarves or something like that. Definitely appreciate all the support. I literally don't even know what's back here. Like, I have no idea where I'm going, but at this point, we've gone too far to turn around. Oh, snap. It's our boy Kyoto Keto SC. Rating with two viewers. We're being attacked. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. How you doing? I will take all two of those viewers, and I will enjoy it to the maximum ability. I don't know what that means, but just know that we're enjoying it. Oh my god, even with the new water, this takes for literally ever. This literally takes forever. Alright, good enough. Famous last words. It's all right. I appreciate any support. Even if it's just you hopping over from your stream to mine, but you turn it into a raid, I still think it's fun. Because we aren't we aren't a bunch of sensitive people around here. I feel like even even Twitch streamers, man, they're getting so sensitive. Like when Artosis raids, man, his his viewers, they are not the sensitive type. And I like that about them. I like that about them a lot. Glad you had a good stream, though. This one's going pretty well. It's actually my biggest WoW stream. As far as viewers, this is the biggest one by far. Yeah, I crit you for 40, dude. Oh, double clear casting. This guy's life is miserable. I still need... Oh, wait, is he the last Taskmaster? Well, oh, you're not even a Taskmaster. We need one more Taskmaster. Where does this road go? I literally have no idea. Oh my god, these freaking nets, man. I love WoW. I know I've said it a thousand times, but I truly do. Nothing would make me happier than... Playing more WoW. <laughs> I literally, literally do. I don't know what the WoW community is like, like, you know, because I'm so used to the StarCraft community. Um, oh my god, I did it again. That's what happens when you put the gym right by your food and water. Um, I don't know what the WoW community in general is like, but if I ever build an audience there, that'll be, that'll be fun. It's just such a fun game. A lot of it is nostalgia speaking, but... It's also just a solid game. All right, where this is this ever gonna end? Wait, is that the exit? Am I back at? No, I'm way, I'm way in here. Oh my god, this place is insane. Okay, that's where the big summonable guy was, right? The obsidian, yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna keep going in it. Honestly, at this point, I don't remember ever coming into this cave. So, or I mean like. I mean, I obviously remember it in this playthrough. I just mean in general. Clear casting off a rank one frost bolt. That's why. I, oh, and frozen off the full frost bolt. Love me some mage. Homie tries to rend me. How much damage is it going to cause each rend? 25. Hope it was worth your life, dude. Oh no, I've been netted. I'll just sit under this net and drink some water.
Oh look, just a whole group of five billion alliance. I'm just gonna keep going this way. What is even this way? I don't even know. I literally don't even know what's back here. It looks like they've cleared it already. At this point, we're just going on an adventure together. Oh, is this a dead end? Is this actually it? Wait, what is that? Oh my god, someone died there? Is that a Tarn warrior? Is that a female Tarn? Oh, we're all the way back here now. Alright, well I literally just need one more Taskmaster. And that's going to clear out... And then the war... I, yeah. So I see another Taskmaster. Oh my god, how'd you die here, dude? Rip. Never knew that Husky is also a mage enjoyer. Oh no, I love mage. Like, honestly, um, I would not like WoW as much if they, like, say they did monk instead of mage or literally anything else other than mage. I just feel like mage is the perfectly designed class in this game. And it, oh my god, I literally almost ran off that. Oh my god, my whole heart just skipped a beat. I don't know what would happen if I ran in that lava. I mean, I assume you can get out and maybe run up here. Oh my god, I don't I don't know what I was thinking there for a second. Oh my god, I actually found a place I need to be. Because I need these guys, right? The Incendosaurs? Oh my god, literally my heart rate like spiked right there. Hardcore, man, it makes you feel alive, that's for sure. I haven't felt that in a long time. Maybe like a close 1v1 in StarCraft, but... That would have not been an ideal situation. All right, well, I guess we're randomly finding a place we need to be. Ooh, I used Evocate the second it was up. I don't know if it's the most efficient, but I'll take it. I will gladly take that. place because all these guys are not immune to frost. Man, I apparently just gotta kill a bunch of lizards down here. Seems to be the secret. X Nihilo 77 has followed this minute. Alright, I got that call out a little bit better. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you're enjoying your stay. Hope all is well with you. And your family, and your loved ones, and your friends, and your pets. Hope it's going well. I will say these quests take quite a while. I need more heavy war golems. I need a million of these little lizards. What are these scales for again? I can't remember. I'm going to Google it. Incendosaur scale. Do you turn them in for rep? Objective of... Yeah, I think you turn them in for rep. Come on, guys. Can you Can you stop hugging each other here? Actually, you know what? Before I do this really quick. Wait, is he going to aggro me? What do you think? Audio. I turned the music way down. I forgot that I did that. You know, I'm too afraid to play any other music because I'll get banned or whatever because all the rules on music are crazy. So I'm like, I'll take I'll take the relaxing WoW music. Even if you can barely hear it. C 
seeping gizzard. Why would I why would I want to carry that around my bags? Why would I want a seeping gizzard in my bags? That just sounds gross. It's gonna get all over my other stuff. I'm literally drinking water out of these bags. Beer casting. You know, I feel like clear casting hasn't been uh, proccing very often. I'm actually really happy there's not a lot of people farming down here. I remember back in like actual classic, people were farming these all the time. It would be a huge pain, but they're green and getting absolutely destroyed. So this is kind of a nice little group we've gotten ourselves in. Look, I can literally play one-handed. my other hand's doing. I'm just checking my notifications. Okay, guys? That's all it is. It's fireball. What realm am I on, random guy? I am on Defias Pillager as Horde, obviously. Although, wait, where's my, oh no, did I send it away? Do I still have it? Oh, I think I sent it to my bank by accident. I was going to say, if I use my Savory Deviate Delight, I could fool everybody, but I don't have it in my inventory. Uh, yeah, we're on Horde, Defias Pillager. If you want to join the guild, you can make a character, and then you can just message me. My character name is Husky SC, but if you just, yeah, do slash who Husky, anyone in the guild can invite. Super casual, super fun. Been loving it. Even if you're someone who doesn't plan to play, you can still make a character if you want. That's how low barrier of entry it is to join my guild. What up, Mute? Just started playing again this weekend, and man, if I could only play one game the rest of my life, it would be these earlier WoW days. I agree. Honestly, like, I, I'm still trying to will it into existence. If they made a WoW classic expansion, I would be so addicted, it would be insane. And again, I don't mean Burning Crusade. I mean, like, something that follows the difficulty of original WoW, but all new content, like, new gear, no flying mounts. I said this, like, a hundred times on my last stream, but just, like, they could do so much cool stuff. It would be amazing. Like, battle, new Battlegrounds, but ones that are literally just, like, a new Capture the Flag map, or five new Capture the Flag maps. Three new Arathi Basins, like no weird rules, the same rules, just different maps. In Altric Valley, that's like balanced. <laughs> um, it would be incredible. It would be so much fun. And I, I've wanted that for so, so, so long. I'm shocked that they came out with WoW Classic, and then I'm like completely shocked that they came out with WoW Hardcore. Like, WoW Hardcore is very un Blizzard like. I get that they do Diablo hardcore, so it's easy to think like, well, they did Diablo, of course they'll do WoW. But it's like the fact that they actually did WoW, a hardcore mode is amazing. Ooh, File Branch Warrior. Goodbye, Orc Warrior level 44 named Shoddy. Poor guy, not having a good night. Rumor has it since Metzen is back, that might happen. God, I knew so many of the executives at um, Blizzard, but Metzen was never at any of the events I went to. So I never got to, like, get in his ear, you know? Not that they literally ever listened to me on WoW or StarCraft. Like, nothing I ever suggested ever made it in the game um, at all. So definitely had no influence there. But, man, if he does that, he is a freaking genius. My God. I, I would full-time stream. I would drop everything. I mean... Not everything, because I love the shows that we make on Rose Channel, so I'm still going to do that. But everything else, family events, canceled. Vacations, canceled. Uh, 
spending time with my children. Canceled. I don't have kids. Um, I, I would, it would be so cool. So freaking cool. And like, there's so much potential. Oh, I literally, like, that's how excited I legitimately get just thinking about it. How do all these guys respawn, like, instantly? Get out of here, dude. Actually, I'll just wait for my evocation. I can just do that in two seconds. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed. Like, the thing is, is like, um, like, Mork, Mo <laughs> Mork, Mike Morheim um, was definitely, like, more my vibe. Like, chill, nerdy, smart, funny, nice, like, just kind of, like, an all-around, like, you literally would expect him just to be like a cool dad who games, you know? Like, um, so I really, really like Mike. Uh, and whereas Chris was more of like the, oh, you know, like in all of his panels and stuff, he's all like super intense and like a huge personality. And um, I don't mean it in a bad way, it's just different. Like if I was to, to go to someone's house to hang out or have them over at my house to hang out, like I, I'm i more of the crowd of like Mike Morheim, like, you know, the chill nerdiness. Whereas, like, Chris Metzen always, like, appeared to me to be more intense, which is fine. I don't mean it in a bad way, but, like, I am bummed that I never got to really meet or hang out with him. Um, so, it is cool that he's back. I, I would love it so much if he did. Like, that would, that would be a big win. Like, honestly, WoW Hardcore is a big win in my eyes with Blizzard. I know, I guys, I, I get everything going on, but like at the end of the day, it's a big win. And that would be like t an even bigger win. And then I'd be like, I don't know what I'm thinking anymore because these are these wins are starting to add up. Like what's going on here? Uh, just me personally, because I love WoW Classic so much. I just, I truly, truly do. Because I feel like WoW Classic could try and like revitalize that old school MMO feel. And then WoW Retail could like constantly modernized to be like, oh, this is like the newest, biggest, flashiest MMO. And like they can kind of capture like all aspects of MMO. Of course they know the numbers and all that. And I have no idea about any of that, but whew, I get excited just thinking about it. Uh, Ryan Jin Hoking, how did you meet Ro? Well, Funny you should ask, and very on topic, we actually met at BlizzCon. And we've told the story several times. We we made a video called Our Love Story on Rose Channel. I can't remember how much detail we go into, because that video was a long time ago. I legit can't remember everything that's in there. And I don't know if we, I think we told it. I can't remember. But anyways, um, yeah, we actually met at BlizzCon. Her person she was dating, I don't know if I'd call it boyfriend. We don't like him, right? Uh, the person she was with at the time was a fan of me. And he was an L.A. Hollywood type, we'll say. And he was like, oh, my God, that's Husky. And he's saying this to Ro. Oh, my God, that's Husky. Uh, my publicist isn't here. So you need to go say hi to him and then introduce me to him. It was like the most L.A. thing ever. Um, so Ro came up to me and was like, hi, me and your boyfriend, uh, my boyfriend and I, or should I say person I'm with? No, she said boyfriend. <laughs> um, well, we watch you, like I recognize your voice, but he's like, you know, he's a big fan. Um, and he just was wondering if you come say hi to him. And, uh, you know, he was kind of like too cool for school type guy. And uh, so yeah, I met him and Ro took a picture with me and the picture I look insane. Like, if I was to have been arrested that day for, like, murder, and I was, like, the main suspect, I didn't do it, of course, but, like, if I was to be arrested and, like, that's the image they put in the news, I would be spending the rest of my life in jail whether I did it or not because I looked like an insane person. Um, but, yeah, literally Mr. Steal Your Girl Husky literally did but no the, the story is much longer than that and it's not like we you know fell in love immediately like that was like a four to five month or even longer process um and they were they were long broken up when we actually started to hang out and stuff so you know it had nothing to do with that but that just happened to be when we met um so i always like to joke that i'm mr Celio girl even though i'm 100 percent not but yeah we literally met at blizzcon in front of the starcraft stage uh it's so crazy to think about like how me just choosing to make StarCraft content led to me meeting the person that I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Like, 
it, it once you start thinking about all this, all the things that had to align for that to happen is like it's crazy i i can't think on it too hard because man these guys respawn so fast i feel like i should just be dinging levels left and right here scales 65 a full stack of 100 vendors let's see is there anything i can toss out here i don't need white spider meat i have so much of that in my bank don't need soft banana bread even though i love banana bread i'm actually gonna start keeping the herbs for my warrior Good shaman gear. Alrighty. So, oh, I'm done with these. I How long ago did I kill 20 of these? Oh my god, I've been rambling this whole time. Holy cow. Actually, let me do a... Uh, where is it? There it is. Do I still keep in touch with Day 9? Well, at the sake of saying, oh, sick burn, I actually am constantly in touch with his mom, Kara, because she works at um, Frost Giant. Um, so we've actually gotten dinner a couple times recently as a group. Uh, not not with Sean, but um, yeah, I keep in real close touch with, with her. She's awesome. She's such a hard worker. It's like actually insane. Don't mind me. I'm invisible. I wish it lasted more than 10 seconds, but what can you do? How did I meet Kurt for the nerd alert stuff? Uh, Kurt also was a fan and he randomly reached out one day and was like, hey, I love your stuff. If you ever want to make music, let me know. And I was like, this is, I have we still not seen a single horde? I think hordes are actually, support your local horde because seriously, they, they don't exist. Um, and I was like, this is a lie. This isn't actually Kurt. Oh, he fell down, dude. Homie literally just fell down there. Um, I was like, there's no way this is actually Kurt. There's no way he actually wants to make music. But I stayed up all night and I thought about it. And this, I think it was like the same night or maybe like a week later. I can't remember. It was pretty close after he emailed me. I was like, well, I wrote these lyrics to Banelings. <laughs> A uh, parody of uh, Justin Bieber's Baby, because that's when Baby was like, you know, pretty popular. Although I definitely miss the the Baby Boat. Um, but as always, I'm always late to like stuff. So Baby had been out for a while. It wasn't like the number one song or anything anymore. But um, I sent him the lyrics, and I kid you not, the next day he stayed up all night and made the Baby song and wrote the rap and sent it to me. Who is messaging me? Is it that guy? Who's Lost Monster? Let's see. I'm pretty much done here. Let's see, yeah, I think I just am gonna get the War Golems. Do you know how to do that one? I I didn't even read the quest. Lol. Lol. Like, how do I do this one? To be killed in his head rules. I don't even know where. Oh, he's right here. Ah, uh, word, lol. Alright guys, we have an epic battle of epicness about to happen.
This is the most intense character we've ever killed. Oh, he kidney shot him or cheap shot him. Kind of wasted my silence, but we should be okay. Oh, God, he's actually got 14,000 HP. This guy's actually kind of insane. Oh, but he got the fat kidney shot. Oh, my God, he sheeped somebody? This guy's like pretty insane actually. Yep, not gonna do that. Oh my god, homie is insane. Homie is insane, lol. guy. Oh my god. Oh, he literally died. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Well, I got my quest. I thought he vanished. My bad. All right, well, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. This is why uh, you don't trust, you don't trust H the Husky Husky. All right, well, uh, that's the first person I saw die. Whoops. Whoops. I also probably shouldn't read chat during an epic guy, during an epic battle. I'm not even gonna leave this guy's party if he wants to. If he wants to rage at me, it's more than his right. But there is kind of an awkward moment where I gotta, gotta go past this guy. And to be fair, I was trying to run away to reset, and he decided to, to bring it back. So. I literally was running away and he decided to re-engage. So that is on him. Did he vanish? Did you guys see? I'll have to go back and watch it, but I if I was him, I would have vanished when I said this guy's insane cuz that's when I was running away. So that's my defense and I'm sticking to it. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, can you imagine I my first Reddit post complaining about me? Oh my god. Wait, did I, I looted his head, didn't I? What do you mean? Think you had to loot an item on the ground where the elite was? No, I, I just picked it off him, right? Oh snap, I do have to go get that. I think you might be right. Oh my god, am I not even gonna get the quest in time? This guy's still in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't... Let's see. I mean, I could kill one of these guys. I don't think I could kill two. Because it is over here, right? Oh, my God. You're right. I don't know if I can do that. Because that's a different quest, right? Yeah, the Fiery Flux. All right. He finally left. Yeah, I just don't know if I can do this. Let's see. Do you think I can loot it in combat? Probably. It's a quest item. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, well seriously, who the hell said that in chat? Thank you so much. Okay, so is that guy who is asking what class to play still here? Because this is why you play mage. 
all of that that just happens is why you play mage. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He freaking died. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, and he was literally watching me run around, not even get the quest. Homie was level 50. Like, what's my play time? Which I have a lot of AFK play time. Six days, 20 hours. I mean, that's how much time I would have lost. Oh my god, I can't even think. How do I even get out of here? I don't even know how to get out of here anymore. I, I, I literally am, like, freaking out. That is the first person I've seen actually die. And because literally because of his sacrifice, I got the quest done because he I think he vanished and then like probably re-attacked the guy. But I was I was gone. I was leaving. So he should have vanished. And like Oh my god, dude. <laughs> if he ever puts it together that it was me. But it's, I look, I have said this many times in my stream that I am the first one to run. As soon as things go south, I am out of there. This is literally hardcore. Uh, hardcore parkour, as I like to say. And what does hardcore parkour mean? Wait, what is the spyglass? Oh, wait, that's up top. That's up top. Um, what I mean by hardcore parkour is as soon as things look dicey, par do whatever you have to to get the hell out of there. Oh, man. Oh my god, someone died on my stream. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. Uh. To be fair, he didn't yell at me. He just said question mark sheep question mark. I guess I probably should have sheeped him, but I, I was in the mindset that we're getting out of there. So I I are me even turning around was me trying to help him. So I'm gonna stick by that. We're gonna go with that. I feel like that video needs to, uh, if that rogue was recording, he should send it to Asmon. Or even, <laughs> or I should start doing videos where I talk about people who die and I'll, I'll open with, so there I was. <laughs> I don't even know what I would say after that. Oh my God, that poor, poor rogue. I do feel for him. Yeah, I guess I should have said run, but I, I felt like it was pretty obvious with me running. I was so far away. Like when he, I'll have to go back and rewatch it because I just assumed that when the bad guy still had like 60% HP and all the mobs were wailing on us, to me, it's an automatic get out of there. But yeah, I guess I could have said run, but I thought it was pretty obvious when I was like all the way gone and then he re-engaged, but... Oh, wait. Dude, this is that... This is that mage from earlier in the stream. The please no DC today guy. Literally, he just died too. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. What is going on? There's... Death is all around us. Oh, my God. I mean, is this a sign that I should just call it quits at this point? Oh man, that was, that was crazy. And this, you know what makes, what makes it even worse? That's the only horde I've seen the entire time in this stream. I literally think it is the only horde in the entire stream and I literally killed him. <laughs> okay, look, I didn't actually kill him. He should have just vanished and ran when I was halfway out the map. But like, literally I killed the only horde. This is why this is why we can't have nice things is I just kill all the horde, obviously. Oh my God, what a, what an experience that was. Wow, I will be reliving that moment. I'm gonna go back and watch that after this. If you guys don't follow me on my YouTube, you can you can go to the stream. Yeah, and to be fair, Lamarl, I told him 
I, I was literally out of here. I didn't even read. I literally told him I didn't even read the quest. Look. Uh, I didn't even read the quest, LOL. That should be a giant red flag for someone who knows what they're doing. <laughs> if, you're, if your stranger joins the party and says, I didn't even read the quest, and it's an elite with three elites, I mean, this is a risk that you are taking upon yourself. This is why no one plays for it. Because <laughs> idiots like Husky. Oh my god. Okay, so that would have been... A, so I've been streaming for 2 hours and 40 minutes. So that would have been around like 2 and a half hours, I think, into the stream. So if you guys want to go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash husky, uh, you can either watch the stream live and go back and rewatch that part, or you can wait till it's a VOD. Um, okay, well, here, I'm going to sheep. You know, the rogue told me to sheep, so I'm like, it's never too late, right? It's never too late. There's another... There's another alliance. Uh, so I'm gonna have to clip that. Or if someone could clip it, too. That would be fantastic. Um, and I've been posting the clips as shorts on YouTube, so I really appreciate when you guys, um, clip stuff. Because I don't really have the time to go back through the streams and, like, do stuff and remember it. Like, this is just a hobby, so I, I don't really have the time to do that. Because if I have time to do that, I'd rather just be playing. Um, so thank you guys who have been clipping. Um, I haven't checked any of the WoW streams for clips, but I know a lot of the StarCraft ones were, uh, were clipped. And honestly, if I was stopping to sheep, I don't know that I would have survived. I don't know. You know, there's no going back. I wonder what, uh, what I get for turning in that quest. Okay, so, let's see. Secret plans of Fiery Flux. That's only giving me 75 silver. And this is the head of him, which is stuff I'm just going to vendor. So basically, that guy's life... Oh, he probably wanted this leather chest. 18 agility, 8 stam. That guy's life for me is going to be roughly a little over 2 gold. So basically, he spent all the time leveling that character. So I could make 2 gold. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I'm going to have a hard time sleeping tonight. I feel so bad. What can I, do for you? I feel have so bad. I'm literally going to have a hard time sleeping. If I return a symbol of Ragnaros. Oh, hey, hey, fellow Alliance. And I can't believe that the, uh, that other mage died. Please no DC today. That literally was the same guy I was watching earlier, or like laughing about his name earlier. But that's what I'm saying, man. Like, that's why I don't want to do any instance groups, because I, I am the first one, like, I think it's better to play it safe, and if we're not killing that guy by the time the CC breaks, and he's still at 60-70%, and he's starting to hit you hard, and I'm already low on cooldowns, like, I'm, I'm just going to boogie out of there. I'm literally out of there, and so I think he vanished, is what I thought I saw. And so, to me, that means, like, get out, plus we're losing. So that was my thought process. Um don't know what his thought process was. He was probably hoping I was going to sheep, but you know, you should never count on a stranger. Oh, that's, that is wild. But hey, my mining has increased to 268, so that's that's pleasant. I will say that clip would be absolutely hilarious in reacting to death videos, because look at it from the rogue's point of view, where he just died and he sees me kill the guy, get the quest item, forget that I need to go loot the other thing, Frost Nova, grab it, and then just run by his corpse. I mean, from a storytelling perspective, that's kind of hilarious. Uh, I don't know that he will find the humor in it currently. I don't know that he ever will. I don't know that I would ever find the humor in it, but there is... There is some amount of humor somewhere in there. Wait, I need these spiders? Oh my god, I do. There is some amount of humor in there. If you look hard enough. He may be looking for quite some time, but it is in there. Oh, man. And I didn't even notice that he died at first. 
<laughs> I was so like laser focused on just the one guy. And I literally have never had someone in my group to do a hard quest before. Cause I just like skip them if they're difficult. Man. Hardcore, parkour, man. That is what I am going to continue to live by. Hardcore parkour. Oh. All right, thankfully that magma elemental is not friends with the greater lava spider. Okay, so I basically just need five golems, some spiders. Symbol of Ragnaros, I don't know what drops that. It says it's an elite quest. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Spyglass is down here. Maybe I'll head down there. That's where you turn in the key. Yeah, so right now there's not that many people here. It's kind of nice, easy questing right now. All right, guys. Well, that has been the highlight of every single WoW stream I've done. Obviously, I don't wish death upon anybody. That was not intentional at all. And I don't group with people for that exact reason. Um, but I have not felt those feels while gaming in a very long time. So that is... That is something. That is indeed something. Oh man, I can't believe that happened. I'm still, I'm still completely shook. I mean, I had even used my mechanical dragon. I was about to use my gnomish net gun. There was, there was many things that I was gonna do. These highs and lows equal the best part of permadeath. You gonna die, boy? <laughs> Oh man, I mean some sometime. Hopefully I get level 60 though. Wait, did it put his death in my I feel like this isn't updating everybody. Like why wouldn't it put him in there? Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't I don't literally think the sheep would have necessarily fixed it because we still would have had to kill both ads. Because if he had already um, vanished, like, yeah, I can kite them, maybe, but I'm eventually gonna run out of mana. And so, like, I I don't know that we could have killed, because both ads were at full HP, so I don't know that we would have even been able to do that. That's a really good point. Okay, is there anything I can toss here? I guess I could like actually go turn in a quest or two. Oh, do they have to have the add-on for it to show their death? Yeah, I don't actually know. I thought I tracked everybody, but I guess, yeah, I mean, having the mod would have to make sense. Okay, how do I get up here again? I'm already forgetting. <laughs> All right, let's go turn in a few quests. Oh my God, I went the wrong way again, didn't I? Don't worry, one of these days it's gonna come naturally to me. Oh, you literally run up by this giant tower thing. It's been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute. Because basically during Classic, like as soon as you hit 60, everyone was doing Molten Core already. So it's like, you don't even need to go to BRD and all that shenanigans. 
So I would just, I got the waypoint and I flew here. All right, let's turn in some of these quests. Let's see what we get. All right, well, here's the quest that costs, you know, we, we have to go on in his memory. So we got to turn these in and, you know. Oh, Lufa. Love the Lufa. Not that I really need it, but okay, who can I vendor to? Here there. Watch your back. You got Maybe my this will open it up. Be good. How are you? I wish to browse your wares. Okay, that oh, freed up a little bit. I can Watch turn this in. Watch your back. The good old Lufa. That's usually one of the first trinkets if you're Talk not engineering. What's on your mind? Be good. All right, so. Alright you guys, I'm going to go ahead and raid someone. I think that's working, there we go. Uh, thanks for watching guys, what a what a crazy end to this stream. Uh, make sure to follow Twitch, make sure to join Discord, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, this was super, super fun. And we are continuing our quest to 60. We may have to step over a few dead horde to get there, but we are going to do it. We are going to do it. Uh, have a good night, you guys. And, of course, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>